and me as an Indian reading this shit proper like fucking fire the fire right so so in my head since I'm I'm damn pissed content. Minus, it's it's obviously it's content and I feel like it's it's an uh, awareness that that I feel oh, like yeah, Malaysia yeah. thing because like sure. when I posted that video like, a lot of people <clears throat> were like shocked like what this kind of shit actually happens to Indians is it what they don't know what about? All right, guys. Today we have a very special guest. Uh, we have do, 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 do. that podcast, and then you're watching some AFK yeah. game. AFK oh, game. Okay. Let's go. Fucking serious. Are you fucking game. serious, bro? Is a uh, wait? Can we get back to the introduction? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> we have Wicca World with us right here what's in up, Yam up, Session. Up, Thanks man. for having me. Are Thanks you allowed to having... say your full name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, do you, do you know what's my full name? I know. Vignesh Warren. Vicker something. Good try, good try. I know it's VV, right? Good try. Yeah. VV. Yeah, yeah. Vignesh Varan Virasundar. Virasundar is my dad's name. Mm. Okay, okay. But in the yeah. middle, that's Anna Lucky, but like I... I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you removed it? <laughs> you removed it? <laughs> in my IC, there's the AM. AM but la. like everywhere else, I just removed that shit. Yeah. Why, why the fuck would they put that shit? Bro, I have that shit in my name. My name is Sauna Poige Anna Lucky Ganesan, bro. Ins- oh, Poige is your Poige is my name, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. you thought yeah. it was a nickname? I thought, I thought it was like some nickname that your no, friends no. gave you. In, in, in Saljana, it was like that. Uh-huh. It, I thought it was like that. Then uh-huh. after that, Josh told me it was like, bro, this is your name. Then I'm like, huh? Why so weird? Because right? So normally, Indians, it's just one name, then Araki, then one name. Correct. Yeah, he's the only one that I know. I got Poige right there, you know? Yeah. It's one with me right now. Yeah. But Dem- do you remember Lashwin? <laughs> La- I remember Lashwin Lashwin Kumaran, yeah. that's it. We call him Kapla as so. well. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but Kapla is not his real name. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Poige is my real name. Huh? Okay. Sarah Wanan Poige? I'm not Lucky Ganesan. Damn, bro. Damn, damn, damn long when I write. His name, bro. I know, yeah, bro. Man. Too long. You know, when you go to the garment, uh, fill up the garment form, I cannot fill, I cannot fill up, man. You know what's worse when you go overseas, too, especially yeah. like those like white countries? That's it. Isn't that last pronounce. name, first name? Okay, but. So I'm like Ganesan no, Poige Sarah Technically, I'm not Lucky is your name. No, I don't, I, I don't. It know. is my name, but it's not at the same time. Hmm. It's very confusing. But it, on your IC, it says ah. It says in my IC. Then have to lah, bro. Better, bro. You go IC, you go <laughs> airport, okay, all la. that. No need lah. No need. Remove it lah. It's just A L, bro. Son but of, hey, but know? we can go to the government and can change. You can, bro. You can do whatever you want. Put your name like uh, magnificent Wika, son of whoever. So you no problem, man. Yo, you should do it for your content, man. Change what? your name. What the fuck? I'm not gonna change <laughs> fucking name, bro. bro just go there, like Jonathan. Uchiha. No, I call myself Ash. Uchiha. Ash Ong. Ash Ong. <laughs> From Pallet Town. <laughs> Pallet that was a childhood la la. dream, bro. Anyways, back to Wika, right? Yeah, we got Wika okay. World. Today, it's a, such, such a huge honor, right? Yeah, to get one of oh, the most bullshit. pop influencers, <laughs> right? Yeah, Malaysia. Like, Fuck the other influencers. <laughs> That's I call them fake lenses. No, we got the real deal right here going. Bro, on. actually, you were like no? kind of the pioneer, one of the few early birds to do. Yeah. YouTube, to be bro. fair, I started YouTube before YouTube was like a thing. A thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. bro. It was like I think I was from four, <laughs> from five, and you were from four no, ish or so. We were from five when. Then I heard you already to, started yeah. doing it. Already, that, right? well, that, that time I wanted to be a rapper. I, I start my first channel was not the channel that I have right now. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. It's what. I don't wanna like disclose the channel's name la. But oh, why? It's a fail Because it's damn embarrassing. <laughs> it's like the worst now the channel is still there. Now right? I'm damn curious, bro. It's damn terrible. <laughs> I think I, I think I privated the video, but I can't remember. Okay. Oh, but it's man. those remember like we used to like I no, I mean No. Not with you, I remember. Not with, with me, I think. Yeah, not with you. I think it was with Vicky or some shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> It must be Vicky. He likes to rap as well last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Vic used to like to rap as well. Bro, we big time Linkin Park fan when we yeah. were Swim Mega. Bro. I don't peg him to be a rapper, to be honest with you. What? I, like when I talk to him today, I don't see him yes. as a rapper. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. Dude, Vic is so quiet now. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's just taken him lah. Yeah, but I I know <laughs> from the beginning, in form four, form five ish, I kind of knew you were doing YouTube already. Yeah. Then I was like thinking, dude, can man, I can do YouTube That's one true. Lah. Everybody doubted me, man. Like, Not me, bro. I'm <laughs> 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 Not me, bro. I had all the faith. I'm like, this Wait, is so Indian. Your family all also were like... I mean, like, my family was supportive, but they were like, don't waste your time on it. Because like, right. while I was doing my degree and like, studying, I was, I was doing... You were doing content. YouTube, well. Yeah. That, that made me happy. Like, I love creating content, right? But I didn't know it could be a career path. Holy so, shit. Like, the toughest time of my life was while I was doing my degree and also putting Juggling. up content. Yeah. Yeah, bro. But oh see, God. at that time, putting out content wasn't like, it didn't feel like work. Even now, it doesn't feel like work, but now it's work, work. Does yeah. Sense? Mm. No, because you have clients, right? Yeah. So they have to collaborate. Correct, and all that. correct. We, we will get to that yeah. in a bit, but mm-hmm. I just know that 
you were like some of the early birds, bro. I started damn early, yeah. yeah when bro. when Ginny Boy and all was there, that was the same time. Right. Oh shoot, Ginny yeah, Boy was like the first. I mean, probably he was like a year earlier or some shit. Oh man. Then after that, I. During, I don't know if you guys watch Peter Chow, David So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, yeah. old time YouTube yeah, watch. That one is the old school one. Vitali, <laughs> the pranks and shit. Bro, Vitali, yeah, bro. Vitaly. I don't know Vitali. Yeah, I know that's good content. That one yeah, is yeah, they speak like Vietnamese shit, one, right? Like, oh my God, what, what you doing? The one, uh. David So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, has yeah. that accent every now, every, every yeah, yeah. and then. I know that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, um, when specifically mm-hmm. and why did you start YouTube, man? When was, I mean, you just answered... I can't remember. I only know it from four, bro. From, from four, five, I was starting. I was writing songs and stuff. Oh right? shit! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but my main recovery channel. So I realized like the music shit wasn't working out. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, bro? I think I think this is not your forte, right? Yeah. So like I wanted because I remember I made like few songs and I sent to like radios and like no one oh, replied, wow. you know, right? That in my head I'm like, fuck these people. Man. I want to create my own audience, right? Okay. And I feel like comedy is like the easiest way to like reach out to people. Plus you Indian. In, in uh, Indian mm. as well, so I started doing uh, comedy content, right? I see. I started a complete different channel. I rebranded myself. I was doing comedy stuff. I was doing the pranks was huge back then, mm. so I was getting to that. And somehow my channel was growing, growing, growing. And then in my head, I'm like, you know what? Fuck! I'll do. Th- I keep on doing this. Grow my audience every now and then. I put in my music. I put up music. So that was until today. That's a strategy that I'm, I'm still going with because like music is still like the my one number one passion. Because of Eminem, oh, okay. because until Eminem. Today, so Eminem number one. Bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Eminem, bro. Uh, uh, in the side note, what, what is your current thoughts of mumble rap, logic, and all these buggers? Logic is not mumble rap. Yeah, logic sorry, is the uh, Migo, 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 sorry. Migos. Oh, you got so offended. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, it's wrong guy, wrong guy. Wrong guy, wrong guy. Yeah. Wrong guy. Logic, see, good song, logic, good song. See, here's the thing about mumble rap, right? I feel like a lot of uh, people who like lyrical raps, Indeed. they go against mumble rap. Yeah. To me, I don't think it's, it's their own music. Like, fuck it. Like, I have nothing against <laughs> it. I just feel like. I feel like all this current generation of kids need to also listen to lyrical raps because that's that's, that's where the real shit. shit is. You know what I mean, right. bro? There's meaning as well, bro. There's proper meaning, man. Yeah, but I think it's kind of like a sign of the time because that time where Eminem used to rap and all that and Fifty Cent and all that shit, they rap about their lives, right? Correct. About achieving wealth, but at the same time not forgetting the streets and shit. Mm-hmm. Then after that, it came it came to a new generation where it's about having the wealth and spending the wealth. That's true. Then it becomes like cars, booty, and shit. Mm. And then it becomes like the social media shit, which is all like noise, hence mumble, I think. Yeah. So it's kind of like they rap based on that generation, bro. But Eminem's still OG, bro. He's still I w- now. I want to show you a rap. Can I, can I show him a rap? I, I want to see his reaction. Can we get that on camera? Oh, we get demonetized, bro. Oh my God. Wait, then why, I why does this because that's some good rap. Later I show you that shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Later okay. I show you, but it's fucking funny, man, that shit. <laughs> So let's get back to the question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But mm. why uh, did you start? Because you enjoy doing content? I enjoy doing content. I always loved editing videos. <clears throat> I always loved entertaining people. So I thought- You've like, always been entertaining. Right? Like yeah. I feel like instead of just entertaining my friends, I wanted to entertain more people. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I enough. I feel like my, my friends don't appreciate my shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, fuck you guys. I want to create my own. <laughs> so that was the that was the mindset I went with. La. Did you how, how did you learn how to edit, dude? Because I think from 4.5, like, it's Your, relatively new computers. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was like Windows Movie Maker days. Like, yeah, bro. Right? Limitations yeah. are like yeah. intense. But you see, the thing is that I was editing my, my videos when I was like nine years old. Huh? Wow, nine, wow, ten. Wow, wow. Uh, that that YouTube editing? wasn't even there. What are you doing? La? I, I used to make music videos, bro. Oh. Like Eminem songs. I remember Just Lose It. The, oh, yeah. Just Lose It. Ah, good song. That was my first music video I did. I, I, I had like a small handy cam. I used to place here and there. I used to like then make to, music to create videos. different scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like I said, I always loved the I always loved creating. Oh, when you were nine, I was nine ten. About nine ten. Yeah, somewhere. Oh, like I was that. playing Pokemon card, bro. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, nine ten was when I started <laughs> dabbling into like editing and, and stuff. But my oh. first music video was just losing. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> is it out right there in it's, the it's not. It's it's unfortunately I can't the hard disk has got got corrupted. Oh. I couldn't get that footage back. Oh, that was the original. I used to, you, I used to do that. You know the whole like double, you, you cut yourself and then put two of you. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, doing yeah. that shit, man. My dad was like <laughs> fucking impressed and shit. <laughs> but he still made me do engineering. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get away from your Indian you parents. Can't get away you with cannot. Them. Dude, nine or ten learning editing okay. software is mad, yeah, bro. Yeah. Then the render time showed them long. Render time was fucking long, man. We make man. Fucking slow, bro. Yeah, you have to wait like half day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Just to wait one video <laughs> come out. Nine or ten, we couldn't even load a JPEG within 30 minutes, bro. Yeah. Nine or yeah. ten was the connect the dial up connection days. Yeah, right? jarring, 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 jarring. Computer when you're nine years old, I didn't have a computer when I was nine years old. We had one one PC that every shared man. Oh, 
watching porn and stuff bro shit luxury oh man that one <laughs> that's tough man oh shit okay um in between like you were saying you you're doing your editing and you're doing your degree and all that right so after graduating you did engineering yeah i did engineering did you ever consider doing like an engineering job concurrently with youtube no. or you were like just bro fuck nah. this i'm doing content like, like i realized when i was doing my internship yeah that was when i realized yo this is not this is not where i want to be where did you do your internship kasi uh i was doing it in kananga uh international it's like a big uh, yeah. software cool. development oh, so it's a huge ass place lah uh how long were you doing for 3 months <laughs> 3 months you were like that's standard like, standard internship yeah, 3 standard months right internship. Uh. then you were like fuck this uh. i'm like yo fuck this shit bro like I, i i couldn't stand myself just being there because it's the it's a it's the clock you keep looking at the clock it's and the like, clock and then with the whole just waiting for like uh, people asking you to do like I, i don't like that shit i like i like to be free Yeah mm-hmm. man yeah like that freedom of like just creating i love to create shit that's that's what i like to do man bro like in this it department yes you get to code and stuff but it's not like it's you it's they put you in a smaller dip, yeah, yeah it's it's very they, they put you in a box kind of you shit. claustrophobic bro <laughs> <laughs> mentally i'm <unpleasant. Yes. laughs> oh shit man but just, were you doing content during that time as well yeah you're doing still oh, wow yeah. wow this manga yeah. bro how did you break the news to your dad that you wanted to fuck off yeah So like I I like I said my my promise was I get a degree I, I graduated and I'm I'm blessed enough when I graduated I already had like a and enough a following, following for me to, to there's money coming in at that point of time and Bro, you can, I can ask uh, how many subscribers you had at that time after graduating is it yeah this is probably about Probably 70k. Wow, that's there. quite legit, really, bro. Yeah. So at that point, it's that's really quite legit. I already income. built. Yeah, I already built the not, platform. Not like we are bragging, lah. But recently, we have hit 1.6k subscribers. Yeah. I mean, dude, that's a lot, man. Like, like not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not like we, we, through podcasts, especially, it's them. <laughs> it's them hard. I don't know how you guys grow podcasts, man. I actually don't, I know. don't know. Yeah, we don't know the answer uh, either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you have any but insight, <laughs> let us know in the freaking comments. <laughs> no, but I was talking to a guy recently, and he's the owner of Pan Pages. Okay. Do you know Pan Pages? I've not heard of it's it. It's uh, it's a, they are the Yellow Pages of Malaysia, bro. Okay. At that time, lah, right? So this guy transitioned from <laughs> Yellow Pages to digital, mm-hmm. and then he asked me like, "So why you do your podcast?" Mm-hmm. Then I like, I don't know, bro. I just like to talk to people, mm-hmm. and it's in high quality, so you can re-listen to the conversation, mm-hmm. and it's nice, lah, to to talk about people's lives, right? Correct. Yeah. Then he was like, "You got read your." audience uh, what do you call that demographic and all that now nah, like actually no <laughs> <laughs> same man like do you, oh you don't know I, i don't analytics look at you don't check I, I don't look it. at all <clears throat> which which honestly i feel like all of us included if we look at analytics like i th- i feel like our channels would be way bigger than what we are right now you think so i i honestly think so analytics data is like key for everything man you you exactly know like what's your demographic what kind of content people like but the thing is that we I feel like us at least we all we don't just create content, right? Bro, with the whole like, it it depends, bro. I think you and me, yes. Mm. I like to create content as well. I don't like to look analytics because I feel like if you know the anal- analytics, right, mm. it's going to limit what you create. True, it's true. Then true, you're going to be so fucking depressed because you're forever going to cater to an true. audience yeah. that's just going to grow, right? Yeah. And yet, ultimately, you, hashtag you lose yourself. <laughs> wow, <laughs> bringing some Eminem <laughs> stuff going on there. <laughs> You lose yourself because you don't know who you are anymore. Yeah, yeah. You just start curating yourself for other people. Yeah, bro, that's scary to me. That's yeah, true. I don't want to forget that shit, lah. Right. Yeah. So I just like to do it, mm-hmm. but I think they're gonna hate me because they're like, John, I think we need to move forward. Yeah. So that's I. I. That's what he said. Also, I think you should look at your analytics, analytics and yeah. kind of play with it. But I don't, bro, I don't want, lah, bro. I just look at the views and the numbers, <laughs> and the comments and the like that, and dislike. That, yeah. I just look at it. When I see the video got dislike, I'm like, yes, that's a good video. Wait, huh? wait, what? If the video got dislike, means it's a good video. I don't, I don't know about that. That's why that I felt is fascinating. <laughs> that is <laughs> correct me. I, I don't know about that. Bro. I feel like if there's hate comments, that's a good reason. Yeah, hate, hate yeah. comments is not yeah. the dislike. Oh, because they try to shit on you. Uh. Yeah. Same shit lah. Yeah. Same shit lah. You know, close lah. Close lah. No. Okay. See okay. La. Wait. So, what did Amma say when you didn't want to go into engineering? Yeah. We. We. Uh, mother. No, to be fair, after SPM, I told my mom, "You, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into like movie production. Can yeah. I learn that? Oh, audio engineering. My mom's like, shut the fuck up and just do engineering." <laughs> As always, <laughs> but you like ma audio engineering ma. <laughs> like I feel like if I went there, at least I could apply something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But I mean, I understand from like, like I feel like me as a parent as well. I would rather have my kid doing like. See what we do now. I I feel like you don't need a degree for it. I I, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but like you don't I really feel, need right. It's it's yeah. just. I think a degree is a fancy piece of paper, mm. honestly speaking, and it's just to give you a chance to work in a big company, and then mm. they give you a bit of a higher salary. Yeah, and which so is why, which thing. is why, if you were to do degree, I think it's best to do like a more 
like for for example like doctor you can't learn like yeah. right you can't learn on youtube how to right? operate yeah <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> that'll be quite dangerous bro so, so if you were a dad uh, you would parent your children in the exact same way you grew up i wouldn't parent them exactly but i would i would try to convince them to do a professional degree first yeah and then at this and then once you have your degree and then you pursue whatever you, just to have because like i feel oh, like it's a backup maybe. it's a backup you know what i mean sure. I, th- i feel like this industry this entertainment industry is like it's you and sure man like quite long bro if you shut down with gg yeah. yeah if there's no social media we're all gone yeah i mean i'm gone you guys have jobs i don't no i don't have a job bro fucking <laughs> 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 like oh because shit what the fuck face did i say oh <laughs> she's face <laughs> <laughs> his face is like, bro, you really <laughs> living on thin ice, bro. He got degree, lah. <laughs> he got degree. Bro, bro, he got masters. I got masters, bro. masters, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got bro. masters, bro. Yeah. yeah. Things, man. Fuck yeah. me, right? Yeah. Plan to get my PhD next. <laughs> his face was so shocked, bro. He was like, only we got good. The ice damn thin under you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you you were saying you actually you asked me before the podcast like whether I do this full time. I don't do this full time. Mm-hmm. Andrew also works in Shopee. I work okay. for my mom, right? Okay. Uh, Poyi is self-employed. <coughs> Chuck works in production, hence the studio. Mm-hmm. But do you do this full time, hundred percent right now? Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent full time yeah. content how's, creation. How's the timetable like? Uh, the, honestly, there are days where it's like you feel like there's nothing, and you feel like, what the fuck am I doing in my life? Oh, right? I know. And what I feel. then there are days where it's just super packed. Yeah, man. so it's very. It's not a state. It's not like state. Like every month, you know, oh, you're gonna get this amount, this amount. Yeah, it's it's a very like up and down, up and down. Sometimes it just goes up. Sometimes it goes straight. So to me, at least, I feel like I enjoy that whole. It's like a thrill, man. You're gambling with your fucking. Correct, correct, bro. You are right? thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so like, from all of this, right? How does the monetization come from? Where does it come from? You know, besides so your clothing brand, which is absolutely amazing, by the yeah, way, guys. Yeah, that's one one brand, by the way. Plug, plug, bro. Plug, bro. Fucking which land? Which land? <laughs> it's on your left, bro. Ah, uh, <laughs> about it, bro. Oh, Revitclothing.com. Go check it out. Go oh, check shit. it out. We'll yeah. put it in the description, bro. Okay. Uh, but like, and most of the money comes from like brand deals, lah. Brand deals so and. You're like, uh, Vika. Can you please put this in your video? Like, sure, cool, done. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not. Obviously, it's not as easy like that. Oh. It's more of like, a brand comes to you, and then uh, obviously it starts off with the budget. If they're okay with the budget, right. they will go on with the creative content. Like most of these brands, they usually have like a fixed idea, which to me at least, I, I, it has to be my style of yes. content. Right? Yeah. So that's where the whole negotiations happen. Like, you, I want it to be this. As long as we get the creative freedom to do whatever we want. Wow, but I know a lot, a lot of like influencers. They would just do whatever the fuck the brand wants. Bro, that's like you take a picture with the chili sauce. They will just do that. Yeah, like, I can't like, do that. I, shit. I, I cannot do that kind of. Bro, content. it's also because we're not a Chinese girl with big tits, bro. If you're a Chinese girl with big tits, you imagine I would, I would do the same as well. Yeah, imagine yeah. you got twenty people ask you to do the same thing. <laughs> do bro, you put chili bottle here, bro. <laughs> then you just keep swapping the item, bro. Because yeah. if twenty if come to you, right? Yeah, I'm a whole. I'll do it. I, I would do it. So yeah, man. bro. If I got tits and I'm a Chinese girl. If, if I had tits, I'd be on OnlyFans now. Already. <laughs> 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 Shit, dude. My headphones still <laughs> came off, bro. Shit, I, <laughs> OnlyFans, huh? Wait, well, yeah, you have tits. I have you tits. You want to care to try? <laughs> I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going in OnlyFans or anything. Dude, who's your first brand, bro, that came to you? Ooh, that's a damn good question. <clears throat> My first brand was uh, was an insurance company. What, What the fuck? Uh, wow. It was... Uh, Alliance. Fuck, man. Manu Life. Great. Uh, yeah, M-A-A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's a lot of uh, uh what A I A. Wait, is that Prudential? Prudential. 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 Mm-hmm. Is are they still in the market right They're now? They're still in the market. Uh, it's a big name, but I can't. Zurich, Zurich, Zurich. Zurich. I need no. to get this name. But right it was now. an insurance company. It was that came insurance, with you? but it was through an agency as well. Oh, oh so okay. wait, did you partner with that agency or did you just? So my with? first, obviously, when I first started, like everything was new, right? Like mm. I had nobody to ask, like yo, what is this? What is that? Right? I was just on your own, bro. On my own, right? I remember obviously I'm not going to mention the name of this this fucking agency I signed under for one fucking year. Oh you signed under the agency. Con, right like I felt it was like a bad, it's one of those shit where you first start you start your YouTube channel you and then a company approaches you you feel like ah fuck you made it in life kind of shit you just signed the whole document. Oh, it shit. was one of those shit. I made a damn lot of mistakes throughout my my whole YouTube career it's only because like I I got no one to ask. Yeah, bro. Why did you ask Jinny Boy, dude? Aren't you close to him? And no, at that point, I wasn't close to Jinny Boy. I see, I see, I see. So I, I just had to just wing it. You know what I mean? 
what the fuck? So you sign was, the, you sign on the dotted line lah for one but for one year only lah. Thank God. For one year, then yo that was damn messy. I emailed the CEO saying fuck you, fuck you. It was a messy uh, because the payment wasn't coming in. A bunch oh of man. shit happened. But oh, then again, like these are all learning curves for me lah. So and you, and this agency is still out there lah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say the name. Or? I don't. No, know. don't say lah. Don't say the. Okay, no. wait. So they engage with you. You sign with them, and then the agent, the insurance company, comes to you via the agency. Via the agency. Okay. What content do you do for the? Insurance? I remember this was on on uh, YouTube. It was a small less like a pledge kind of thing. I just had to talk like a politician kind of shit. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I remember they paid me like five hundred ringgit for it. And I'm like, oh fuck, five hundred ringgit. I just took it, man. <laughs> but the money came in six months later. Oh what? Five hundred ringgit. <laughs> six months later. Six months is a long Fucking term. Fucking long, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. What are you gonna yeah. eat? That's the thing. But oh. that was my first ever brand deal, man. Well, and after that, okay. uh, after that, I always made damn lot mistakes, and I learned from, learned from there, lah. Holy shit! How hard was it? I mean, I know I'm going a little bit racial here, lah. I just feel that we have it harder compared yeah, to other races. One hundred percent. I I don't know why I just because like that uh, la- yesterday we were talking about there was a dude commented inside City's video, uh-huh. right? He was talking about Bumi rights and talking about how Chinese dominated. I noticed in his comment right, nothing mentioned about Indians, no? That's why I say, bro, who's the owner of Maxis in Asia? Yeah, fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> so I, if I, I fuck you, Chinese like, dude, bro, <laughs> he are the coolie, bro. I don't know about it. <laughs> we are working for Asia and Maxis, <laughs> bro. Thanks, bro. But I feel like we had it harder. One hundred percent. How hard was it for you to penetration? This market, bro. He <laughs> <laughs> was virgin in it's, it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard because, okay, I feel like it's, it's, it's less harder for me simply because I'm making English content. Mm-hmm. But it's still hard because, like, in fact, like just now, I came from from an event. Uh, this is obviously I'm not going to mention brand names. Yeah. Right, uh, this lady came to me saying that uh, you have this this brand deal, but we are looking for only Malay influence. Gone, right? Oh, because see. that whole constant. That constant uh, idea of thinking that Indian people don't have buying power makes it very hard for for us to get jobs, Chibai. right? Which which I understand to a certain extent, but I think that things are different now, right? There are so many people who, who Indian people success they can fucking buy an entire building if they want to, yeah, right? bro. So uh, slowly, people are starting to understand. Wait, how did she approach you, right? The thing is that she's like she's like a friend, friend. So it's not like a bad kind of. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Actually, to to play devil's advocate, right? Mm. Is it completely wrong to say for for this person to say I'm looking for a? Malay I don't influencer? think it's wrong. Honestly, I don't think it's right? wrong. Because if you're yeah. if you're marketing to dongs, right? I mm. I'm not gonna have a Chinese fellow to go and promote to dongs. That's true. Right? It's like a for practical purposes. Yeah, it's not wrong, but I think people do take advantage because of that. Like if it wasn't to dongs, lah. Because I'm yeah. sure there's like some hair in my mouth. I'm trying to figure. Out. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, oh wait. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 like this. Okay, all right. Sorry. What, okay, yeah, we're saying. What was I saying? I don't know. You're talking about Indians and how you don't. Yeah, really I mean, it's it's contextual. Is my point, right? Like it, it really depends on the reason why they are asking for yeah. a specific race. Yeah, it makes sense. I completely understand from a marketing point of view. It it makes a lot of sense. But like, there's one brand. Once again, I'm not going to mention. Mm-hmm. It's a huge brand. Uh, uh-huh. They make phones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to mention. Don't have to mention. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. They, I, I, because I know people who work there. Their bosses specifically say only Chinese. Oh. Which, which to me, like, okay, like when it comes to phone and all, that's everybody buys phone. Like, yeah. Why is it only limited Chinese? to? Yeah. So those kind of shit, I feel like it's so unfair. Yeah. Wow. Right. See, it makes sense if like hijab, like okay, you want to look for Malay. That Bobby, you one cannot person. be Malay, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like shit like that like, like, like phones you know I feel like it's everybody buys phone so why is it only you limiting only to Chinese content creators bro this one uh, I also feel like they also will say looking for Malay only they were looking for Chinese only but unfortunately they never really ask for Indian only yeah, unless it's Dipali no, unless, unless Dipali only Dipali yeah. that's the only time I see Indian in Facebook them. looking mm. for Indian looking for Indian yeah. other than that no looking for Indian yeah. only yeah. Uh, I will always see like casting calls casting or YouTube thing like Looking for Chinese, Malay, or Pan Asian. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. Pan Asian. What the fuck is Pan Asian? <laughs> Pan Asian is South Asian. Like, uh, like, 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 like brown skin. <laughs> brown skin. What the fuck? Hey, hey. Yeah. But but uh, since you brought that up, right? Especially in the commercial world, uh, like the TV ads and all, Indian people. You, have you ever seen an Indian aside from Deepavali as a main role? 
Uh, in Bollywood got lah. In Bollywood got lah. But like other than that, you'll never see man. Not even Food Panda's Deepa Valley video. Food, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, yeah oh. fucking Deepa Valley video, yeah. right? All Malayu and Chinese yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking terror. Yeah. So that's wow. a fun fact. Yeah. You it's, had it it's so tough much of yeah. I mean, we all had it. We had it tough lah. Yeah. But you know it's funny also because Indians speak the best English. That, see, that's true. Compared to Chinese and Malay people, oh, their English is fucking rubbish, bro. Compared to Indians, Indians, Indians have a really good command of the language compared to Malays and Chinese. Maybe yeah, no choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's either Tamil or English and Tamil, you know. So yeah, but it's the command. I feel like it's quite sad because. But then again, DJs also. I feel Indians have a dark, like a deeper voice. Mm. You know, I think they would do really well. I know a lot of v, uh, VA talents. Vo- vo- sorry, VO talents. They are Indians. They do like those like, welcome, yeah. you know. Yeah. They do it really well. But Chinese people cannot honor. They're like, hello, welcome. You know? <laughs> it's not so good. Yeah. Oh, wait, I want to go back. I want to segue back to the brand. Right? <laughs> okay. So you're saying how like you, you have to work together with the brand based on their approach. But has there ever been a time where like, or a story or where the brand has a certain approach, but you were not aligned with that approach? And you change that shit. Yeah. Then if, to me, like, if, if that's the case, I usually wouldn't take it. Oh shit! You just grid, drop yeah, it, bro. Yeah, I would just drop it. Like, like, like I said, I'm saying this from a place of privilege mm, yes. because I think I have built my brand big enough point, for me to like push brands if I don't want to. I see. Right. Right. But most of the brands <coughs> that approach me, the thing about my kind of content, not a lot of brands would work with me, so because I swear like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So when when these brands they approach me, they sort of know that it's gonna be my. But style. you also censor some also, man. Now. You kind of like because it out. of fucking. That's because of YouTube, man. No way. What? No, YouTube. They don't YouTube allow. Now the it's all fucking. If you if you don't sense, because <laughs> face them panic. Bro. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna sense it. So shit. Why we are making sense? <laughs> Wait, every every fucking video I curse, bro. I yeah, just, yeah. See, yeah. that's the thing. Like, see, right now when you upload a video, you 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 do you do you like say that that's that's no swearing? Way. See, that's the thing. You lie to YouTube, right? Yeah. But if you get caught, I don't know what's the consequences, lah. Right? Oh, they might ban your channel and shit. I I don't think it's gonna go to that extent. But, but the thing is that your yeah, the thing is that if it's if there's swearing and there's like but I said not appropriate for kids. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that that's, that doesn't matter. Is then wow. after that there's another one where like yeah yeah I know there are check boxes guns and you know yeah, all yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah 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 yeah. And <laughs> 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 like if you if you put uh, the swearing in your video, you'll see your monitor like let's say one video you make. For every thousand views, you get like say three dollars, right? Yeah. If they're swearing, probably be like one dollar. Oh. You know what I mean? It affects ah. your your Hi-yo. your YouTube. Is honestly, it's turning into like some TV fucking channel shit, which is very annoying. Yeah, bro. Should just proper go. limiting. Hey, Jom, let's go Vimeo, bro. Vimeo is it? Yeah, let's go Vimeo, bro. Vimeo is gonna be like that, so man, someday. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ma, chat. Yeah. Serious shit. I didn't yeah. know that. Really. Yeah, it's it's damn tough, man. Like like even like putting titles for your. Your your yeah the the YouTube title of the video title, so yeah. it plays a big role man you put word like kill Done. or like die your video will shoot this oh, word plummet you'll plummet YouTube <sighs> wouldn't push it's very ad friendly now yeah because YouTube is is now proper obviously they just want money more than anything else right now right so they're more focused on like oh content that can they can this place is so ads. depressing this is so depressing it's fucking depressing man which is why like which is why you just have to like follow their fucking you got like no what choice. else can you, you got do? No choice, right? Right? You got no choice, man. Are you? At least we all got degree, lah. <laughs> 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 at least I have a master, you know. That is so sad, dude. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, we need like a decentralized video platform. Yeah, that would be dope as fuck. See, like, put yourself if you have your own video platform as well. When your your platform grows, you want to make money at the end of the day. You yeah. still you can say how much. Oh, I want to. Ca- I care about the creators. You eventually will go into like. How can I make the most? Right, right, right. right? Yeah, it's a fair. Yeah, less swearing, less I know. guess. That's less damn sick. So now up. every now I'm I'm not like <coughs> completely like my new next song that that I'm releasing is called Fuck You. So anyway, uh, it's not like I'm following the entire thing, but like. But you F star CKU. I th- that's the plan. See, I don't know even if that would like. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's just a. Uh, I didn't know this dude, but yeah. then again, I don't know analytics, so I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> 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 Talking about all your videos, right? The last time there was this very. I think I thought it was the funniest video I've watched in your channel. He was doing the interviewing of Najib. Oh shit. Or Rosma. But then it was removed, That's right? Bo- yeah. Huh? It was removed. Yeah, I mean, it was fucking yeah. funny, bro. I, I, I removed it, bro. Yeah, why? My father, bro. Serious. My fa- my father's a lawyer, by the way. So he's oh. very into like, oh. you know, lawyers kind of shit. <laughs> 
he's a, he's a lawyer, so he's into lawyer kind of shit. <laughs> Wait, he just said, wake, wake remove, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Then, apa? <laughs> then, no, that in my family, it's not like that. Oh. Once he says no, no. Uh, uh, mm, power. Uh, mm, okay, oh, okay. Bro, because it was a really <laughs> okay, good, it was a really good video. It was, <laughs> yeah. Najib was like, uh, uh, Najib or Rosma? I did both. You did both yeah. or removed, is it? The Rosma one is still there. I think it was a Najib. Because mm. Najib was doing some, uh, I think this was in a, uh, Overseas uh, interview, then you took yeah, that clip. Yeah, then he correct. was asking, then Najib was like, uh, uh, um, correct, correct. Vicky was like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the video clearly, it was so good. Can you like yeah. sneak peek it, la, like back to Patreon members or something so we can have may- a look? Maybe, maybe I mm. can. Do you have Patreon? I don't. Soon. Wow, goddamn, son. You should do Patreon, <clears throat> yeah? bro. It's direct money, dude. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, you, you guys you are on Patreon as well. Dude, this setup, right, mm-hmm. exists because of Patreon. Oh, okay. If we didn't have Patreon, right, uh-huh. nobody would pay for this shit, bro. Oh fuck! Yeah, man. I mean, so it's like a membership kind of thing, is it? It's yeah. like a uh, halal only fans. No lah, because they get they get the video first and without ads. They get it like okay. ahead of time, and mm. then because you know when it, when it goes public later on, also then after all the comments come in, then it kind of shapes your perspective. So at least they get it first hand, right? Okay, and okay. then they pay for it. Mm-hmm. So while they pay for it, they kind of pay for the equipment lah. So it's Makes hopefully we, we are still in the red, bro. Still in the red. Long way to go. Oh, you guys can try that whole uh, YouTube membership. So, no? oh, What's that the membership plan that's right? like a membership thing where you can pay to get like special perks and shit like yeah, yeah. Oh. I know Will Smith and all those big timers all do it now mm-hmm. right like that, that Will Smith weight loss thing oh, is, is on YouTube premium and then like if you got YouTube premium then you're under this member you get extra stuff you get like sneak peek behind the scenes yeah. it's like, like like Twitch like that like. Yeah. Ah, Twitch, oh, Twitch, oh, Twitch, yes. okay, okay, you've okay. been doing a lot of streaming as well actually right uh, during MCO I was streaming like gaming stuff gaming stuff because right. I, I think I think gaming is like the future Seriously. in terms of content. It is, bro. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I think right? I spend most of my time watching gaming right? videos. A lot huh. of people shroud mm. get like in cinema views, man. Yeah. Shroud, bro. What's shroud is a really good uh, shooter player, la. Is it? Yeah, I didn't even like, know. Like there are people like I watch every night. I watch a Dota player called Gok Goxy. Get fifteen k views. Live views are he streams live views are fifteen k, and that's just that's less. Shroud get like 40, 50 k. Esmond Gold get like 60, 70k live viewers, uh, by the way. Insane shit. Oh man, I should do Pokemon Go. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you should try oh, it out. Dude, man. Pokemon Go. So they play that shit, is it? Yeah, still play that shit. <laughs> okay. But then they have a lot of Pokemon Go YouTubers where they uh-huh. like stream their battles. And uh-huh. their battles are like tactical, so you get to see it live. And then, okay. uh, you know, once they. Because it's only a three man team, so you choose like Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, for example, right? Uh-huh. Then the whole trend, right? Later, the next two days, everybody using the same team, right? Because that team is OP. Yeah, then they pull out a new team, then everybody will start using a team. So they kind of even shape the landscape of the game, which okay. is quite crazy. Yeah. Actually, Which I was thinking that? of doing that, but it makes me so stressed out when I play games and just I commentate on it. Just do it, bro. Imagine I feel if like I, you like, can, I feel like you're damn good at talking and like like your vlogs and all, like you, you, you have the thing where you can be a gamer, man. No, I'm, I'm, I'm legit telling you this shit. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Why are you laughing, man? Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro. Because right, I feel right. There are days right. I wake yeah. up yeah. and I just don't want to vlog that day. Okay, I mean, it's just normal, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. But I like committed to that whole like once a week. I gotta out something, right? And it's simply because it came from that whole client tell me what to do at work. I'm mm. like, fuck this client mm. shit. Mm-hmm. Then I come out and do my own thing, mm-hmm. so I can say what I want, do what I want. But of course, there are days like you're so tired, right? True, true. And then I just go like, hey guys, today I don't really feel like vlogging, but it's a creative thing, so I'm just going to out. And I just like, just do clip, 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 clip. <laughs> then I'll just comment it, comment it, comment it, comment it. <laughs> so like, if I have to hold myself accountable to some shit, right? I'm like, are you... Yeah. <laughs> but no like, like, based on like my experience, right, of vlogging and also doing gaming, yeah. I think gaming is, you don't even have to think about the content. Oh you yeah, just because fucking can, play right. and then you're con- you are looking at the content and you just talk cock and then, obviously if you're streaming, you when people are talking that you can interact with them it's honestly the easiest yeah, yeah. content to channel <sighs> I should out, do man. it I should totally I was thinking about it bro because mm-hmm. I was down I was uh, testing out on my YouTube channel recently about how to do uh, OBS do you know OBS? OBS yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I was testing out OBS OBS uh, a bit of context for people who are listening is kind of like a like you overlay you put your brand there and then you can live stream and you can pull from a game so you can live stream while your face is there so it links two sources Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like okay. a software for you to stream. Like and it's free. Sure, yeah, it's free. Yeah. sure. And I was actually doing it for my client because I don't want to, but I do it on my channel because okay. I don't give a fuck, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But I was thinking, hey, I should do YouTube gaming as well. Then at least it's quite easy, right? You Like you were saying, all those thoughts also went through my mind. It's just that I haven't put it into execution. Like, do I have to start a new YouTube channel? Do I have to grow? Do I have to more specific what, yeah, and all that, yeah. right? 
Because now my channel is mostly about food, what I do mm. over the weekend, try new spots, traveling, all that. Mm. So it's like deviating yeah. hard, bro. It's, I understand. I had the same issues. So I'm like, do, like, do I start a new channel? Do I do it Twitch? Do I do it on YouTube? It's, but even now, I'm still not sure where I'm going to stream yet. Yeah, bro. It's just too many options. Too many options. That, that's, the, that's the problem. It's yeah. Too many options. And then when you do it, you have to commit because you have to keep doing it. Like you okay? Breaking, breaking, breaking. Relax, relax. No, the audio is that breaking, breaking, breaking. I think it's the wire. It's the wire. Just the wire on do, it. I, do I push it in? No, 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 no. no. It's oh. not the mic, bro. Oh, I think it's the okay. headphones. But can you hear from one ear? I can hear, but sometimes it comes, sometimes it goes. Oh, man. Okay, but sometimes. Now it's clear. No, but I think it's still bro, it captures, me, bro. Right? It captures, right? It captures, like, it's okay, just the but headset. But I can still hear from yeah. outside the... Okay. Thing, so. okay. It's just the headset. Do you want to switch? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, okay, cool. You're talking about that, right? Which brand you really aspire to work to create content? Yeah, is that a brand? Mm. No, I want to work with Eminem. That's like, a brand. Oh, <laughs> oish, bro. Oish. That one you can pay him, bro. <laughs> I'll do it for free, bro. Ah. I'll do it for free. Uh, oh, that's a damn good question, actually. <coughs> Which brand? Hmm. Start with local first, like that. <laughs> you could say a hijab, right? <laughs> <laughs> Breaking no, the no. Indian stereotype. Exactly. <laughs> to, to me, like I think like one of like the biggest brand that I always wanted to work with was with Air Asia. Huh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Like I always went to the world Asia and, and, and I'm I was lucky enough to work with them like about two years ago. Jeez. Like oh, a okay. game show kind of thing. And that's my only like goal that uh, now that you brought it up, I feel like I need to like Step it up. Step it up. Oh. Step it up. He's talking to a shareholder here. Yeah, wait. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, but stop, bro. It's nice. Thanks for bringing it up, bro. <laughs> I don't know, lah. I feel like I mean I forgot who was asking me, like, hey John, who do you want? To interview on the podcast, I also don't know, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like Saisalik was probably the highest. Bro, rate. I have the a lot of lists, bro. Who? Who would you interview? Tony Fernandez, Najib. Actually, <laughs> oh, Najib. Yeah, bro. Wika. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I see you stroking him under the table. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wika. Uh, I want to get that that guy. You know the guy who said uh, Chinese girls like me. One Kishan. Uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, I know, I know. Chinese I know. girls like me. No, no. He was like saying how I knew chicks. Uh, and then uh, I have a lot of lists I want to interview, man. Is it? Yeah. I'm trying to know, get them. For me, I would love to interview Joe Rogan. Jesus. Oish, man. Bro, if I could interview Joe Rogan, right? Mm-hmm. That would be crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. I do. I wouldn't even know what to ask him. I, don't even I mean, he'll do all the talking. La. Probably, <laughs> probably, man. Dude, I think I'll, I'll come under the table like six times in the in space of like five minutes, bro. It's a little bit intense, man. Shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, God if damn. you interview him, it's mad. La. For me, la, at least. Mm-hmm. So brand Air Asia, but if international brand? Like, wouldn't you want to do it like GoPro uh, or some shit? International? Even GoPro, Sony, like oh, a Sony camera will be brand. Yeah, Sony will be damn sick. Sony will be great. Uh, more, more towards like the movie, like the like fucking like, like uh, shady records. Wow, I mean, like those kind of shit. More towards like the music, the mu- music or movie scene kind of yeah. thing, or like uh, Warner Bros. Yeah, shit, you know what I mean? right. but I think music in Malaysia is quite rare. Uh. It's it's hard, bro. I yeah. think I only know Yuna and mm. ZRV. Mm-hmm. I don't know any other music. But uh, there is the in Malaysia movies, uh, the local music scene is actually growing. It's actually so quite lot. yeah, and they are because now we have like the Spotify streaming platform and all. Yeah, artists uh, they are making money from it. So it's not like isn't it like a few used. cents per play? Actually, or? Spotify it's 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 you make way more apparently. Is oh. it? And then you see like your people like uh like your Joe Flizos and Sona yeah, yeah, ones yeah. and all. You right. see them like having a millions of of plays place on Spotify. So that sort of covers. And then you have like MAC, MACP or some shit about Oh, I know, I know what the license for music the one. License. Oh, oh, oh. So from everywhere, they still make their money here and there. But of course, like during COVID with the whole shows and all that, that sort of fuck, fucked up I like see. a huge chunk of income. La. But but the music scene in Malaysia, it's it's way hundred times better than how it was like probably 10 years ago. That's true. That's right? true. Even it's like a lot. quality wise yeah. and like Talent wise, amazing talents. Bro, I even noticed, right, you're on your Spotify, right, you're a verified artist. Don't anybody can get the verified artist. Huh? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Like, it's damn easy. I, like, all I did was post on, 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 obviously, like a few songs, and then you have to go for Spotify.artist or some shit like that. Uh. Apply, and then you just fucking get it. Yes, it What about like, Instagram? What about all that? Hmm? Instagram, YouTube, all that? Same shit. Uh, YouTube, YouTube, as in the verified mark, is it? YouTube, I, I remember when, when I had, I was given. I, I, I remember given. emailing them. Like, <laughs> this, this is a long time ago. Uh, I emailed them or some shit. I said, like, you'll give me... I always say I drafted up properly. Uh-huh. Like, you'll give me a check mark. And they agreed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 
Thanks, man. Uh-huh. They obviously they're on Instagram all is them susah lah. Instagram and all you need like a bunch of requirements. So I, I don't know how that shit works. Fuck it lah, you know. Right, right. We Malaysia we don't care about that. I mean, marks I mean, the marks play so huge. Oh, serious? Oh, it the makes it look huge. legit. Like. Then don't take yeah, it Yeah, because the mark will, will show that this is a <coughs> verified account. Yeah. That means, right, it's only you. Then when you share account, let's say people screenshot your photo and then repost it, all that, mm. you have authority, bro. <sighs> yeah. yeah. It makes you legit. Like a problem. Yeah, bro. Time to apply. Like, time to apply. Dude, you know, right, on Yamcha sessions, uh. every time I post, a, like, we post this whole, like, two, three hour podcast, right? Then on Yamcha sessions, clips, yes. which is a smaller channel, mm-hmm. right? I post the shorter clips. Do you know that because we have more subscribers, right? It will notify that someone is plagiarizing your video. Yeah. It can wow. auto detect that this guy just like recorded and put there also. And it's algorithms. Right? Yeah, bro. YouTube is impressed. They can immediately capture shit, man. Yeah, bro. <coughs> which is which is a pain, yes, right? Because pain in the ass un- un- until it happens to you, lah. Yeah, because when I go vlog, right? Mm. Let's say in a mall, and then they play like I don't know Bruno Mars or some shit, bro. I cannot use the audio. Mm. I cannot even. I have to put subtitles. And I have to like lay over another. <laughs> It's so ridiculous, it's ridiculous bro. Man. Because the algorithm is so strong now. So I cannot even, I think more of music, I'm like, can I vlog? Because I'm not going to edit this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sense, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how do you think and do your timetable every day? What comes out in your mind, man? There's no, like, it's just, I go to the, now I have like a small office space, by the way. I'll go there, uh, think of content. That's it. How big is your team, dude? I have like one guy there. Mm. And of course, this is like my main floor. Then if it's a main bigger floor. production, then I'll, I'll oh, oh, oh. outsource here and there. I see. Yeah, because like my friend has like yeah, his own team. So <coughs> also you call that. Combine if you want like a bigger team. So every day you just wake up, think of content. That's it. It's everything is content. Everything is just content. Like, bro, that everything must be is tiring. Content. It's shit. fucking tiring. Man. Yeah. It's damn tiring. But like it's still, it's still fun because like every now and then there's... Especially like, see for me, I always want to be a, like in my, my Vika Vlogs channel at least, I want to do travel kind of content. But so those travel. are like the best kind <laughs> yeah, of, yeah, true, right? True, true, you true. get to fucking travel for free. But other than that, like like I said, this is constantly, everything is just content, replying emails and like- Comments. Know, comments and like, uh, typical typical stuff. Lah. Is, is there a goal that you're striving to achieve or is this sort of, I'm doing what I love and uh-huh. this is already the end state? To me, to me my, my goal, my my previous goal that I used to have was to have like a talk show, like, you know, like your late night show kind of shit. Wow. But then okay. like realistically, it <coughs> wouldn't work in Malaysia. Why not? Because, what? I this is my personal opinion, I feel like in Malaysia at least, see for talk shows like this, you need like star celebrities for you to, to, to interview yeah. and shit, right? Mm. Yeah. Who do we have here in Malaysia? Uh, Vikar. <laughs> <laughs> you got Joe Flizzo, you got all the artists out there. Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah, yeah. but it's hard to nego- like do your scheduling. Scheduling is one, but it's still not like, I see, think Harit Iskandar had a show. He still has, right? He, he has a podcast. He still has, but it's still not like, not see, the, Harit Iskandar is huge. Yeah. His name is big, right? But it's hey bro, sh- speak near the mic, bro. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Like his show was big, uh, as in he is, his, his name is huge, yeah. but the show still didn't get yeah, the traction. kind of traction like how your fucking Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon, Fallon, you know what I mean? Right. Simply because I feel like Malaysia, we don't have like, I'm, I might be wrong, but I feel like we don't have that star power kind of shit. That, that's why, right, when people ask me who you want to interview on, stu- yeah, right? I was stuck. I was stuff. stuck. But stuff. At, at the same time for us, it's kind of like the average Joe also has their own story. So that's why mm-hmm. la, we do it. Mm-hmm. But talk show is hard, bro. Talk show is hard, right? Talk show is hard. Yeah. Do you feel a talk show could be done in Singapore? Stars. See, see, in Singapore is a complete different scene, man. Their, their mm. YouTube scene is huge. Yeah, it's they, they have us. I mean, obviously they're not America star power, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but they definitely have a notable right? increase notable, in star power. Correct, one hundred percent. Who do you interview know in Singapore? Why? I want to interview Sylvia and Ryan right now. Yeah, but those two are new. Right? Yeah. Who else? Huh? I, mean, I don't know, but like, I know all I know is in in in, in Singapore, Singapore is, huge. is huge. You yeah. can see by the numbers they yeah, get. I think I think only America and UK can do it. Bro, even France, right? Let's say I was in France, right? I don't, what, Lea Sedo, bro? One fella from a Bond film. You know, I, it's hard, bro. Yeah. We're not exactly like producing, we're not exactly the, the most creative country in the world, so mm. let's put it this way, right? Yeah. But I think like Japan has its own niche, so they can do it. Korea has its own niche, True. they can do it. Yeah. I think even Thailand has its own niche. Yo, Thailand is. Yeah, they have a completely niche. different world, bro. They have they their are, own yeah. niche. Yeah, yeah. But Malaysia is, and Singapore are like, we're very open to a lot of the entertainment. Mm. Actually, I can argue, right, that a lot of our references in life, like even now when you have conversations, you reference a movie that's American. Yeah, yeah. Because we are somewhat like 50% American 
culture. Yeah, we consume that media. Yeah, that yeah, media. yeah, yeah. You know, so I think you can, but then <coughs> over there, it's so, so niche. Mm-hmm. So over here, it's hard, bro. Yeah. It's difficult. But so it would be awesome though if you could do it for... Right? Uh, yeah, man. Because I know like a few of them as so well, they did, it didn't blow up like... Talk show. Yeah. Bro, I want to be a talk show. I want, I want to be the host. Like. Shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if Malaysia were to have one, confirm Indian. Confirm. It won't be a Chinese guy because Chinese guy, hello, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> then the Malay guy only will do Malay content. Uh-huh. Yeah, but Indian but will probably hit all. But there are a bunch of like Malay... Uh, talk shows and stuff that is huge. Yeah, that's why because yeah. it's targeted to the, mm. that segment. Yeah. It's niche also. Mm-hmm. Like they had KJ on and all that. So oh, you daddy bro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like one guy fuck? commented the uh, KJ if so what's that? What's that? If KJ is daddy then side is honey that's or right. shit. What like the that. fuck? No, that's, that's what I said, said it on the podcast. That's what I said like oh, okay. the podcast. No choice. You get your no recent video right the uh. Property I like one. Like how right? he just like, oh, let's go to the next. <laughs> yeah, you go zoom. That's why I said I'm a I'm a very really good host. You know, I can do hosting. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. Talk okay. show, man. Talk okay. show, yeah. Talk okay. show. When, why did you decide to create that property uh, video? Okay, that's a good question. Two days before I recorded the video, my my friend, my personal friend, she shared like a screenshot of a conversation of her and and uh, this property agent saying that we don't we don't take in uh, Indian people and all stuff and she screenshot it and shared on her on her Insta story. Uh, Insta story. And me as an Indian reading this shit proper like fucking fire the fire, right? So so in my head since I'm I'm damn pissed, minus, it's it's obviously it's content and I feel like it's it's an a, awareness that, that I feel oh, like Malaysia yeah, yeah. is Because like sure. when I posted that video, like, a lot of people <coughs> were like shocked, like, wow, this kind of shit actually happens to Indians, is it? What? They don't know. They, uh, so a, bit, a bit of context. A bit of context, mm. right? Because people who are listening to this, they don't know what we're talking mm. about. Oh, okay, sorry. so Vika posted a video on property agents that say no Indian in their listing. Mm-hmm. So when you contact them and you speak to them, they're going to be like, hey, you Indian? Ah? Then they're like, yes. Then, oh, sorry, ah, cannot mm. take Indian. Yeah. So that's the context, lah. Yeah. Okay. Especially okay. the I, re- I like the the girl. She's like um, uh, she's trying to just pushing um yeah, right? um right, yeah. um. I'll just yeah. say no Indians, lah, bro. You just go to the point, lah. Okay, fuck it, lah. But it's good that you did that video, bro. Yeah. It's a good I, thing. I'm so surprised yeah. no one actually know about that. Not it's a left lot and right, of people, bro. Right? A lot of people, especially non Indians, lah. Honestly, all Indians we know we have this kind of problem. But like the non Indians, they're still they think mm. everything's fine and shit, right? A question, right? To go into the details. Mm-hmm. Uh, since you guys have experienced this firsthand, do you think this is um, an appearance issue or is it an inherent racial issue? So I'll give you an example, right? Mm-hmm. Does a fair-skinned Indian mm-hmm. face this problem less than a darker-skinned Indian? Sorry to interrupt you guys. Midway during the podcast, we'd like to thank you, Patreon members, for paying patronage. We really appreciate it. It's uh, Without you guys, this podcast would definitely not be where it is today. Um, if you guys have any ideas for collaboration or guests, do let us know by DMing us in Instagram or emailing us, but just DM us on Instagram because we never check our email. And uh, this podcast is brought to you by Fetch Malaysia, local, convenient and healthy pet food. So check out the link in the description below. And what's the code? Uh? Fetch MY. Just DM you or what? Or check out Fetch MY lah. Okay. Contact Fetch Malaysia with the code F E T C H M Y Fetch My for a discount code. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the podcast. Love you long time. Peace. I think they face lesser problem. I see. Okay. Yeah. But you see that the thing about like the experiment that I did. There was no visually you don't you it's can't just, even see it's just right. the fact that they couldn't even tell this <laughs> Indian on the phone, bro. He <laughs> thought it was a fucking Chinese fellow, I think. <laughs> but but like to answer your question, the darker skinned people have it worse. worse in Malaysia. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So do you think in this hypothetical scenario, right? Say I, I go into this thing, I'm I'm a <laughs> I'm a fair skinned Indian guy, okay? Mm-hmm. This guy tells me, Hey, are you Indian? I say yes. He says, Okay, you can fuck off. Mm-hmm. And then I'll t- and then I, I speak to him in person. Mm-hmm. And then he sees how fair skinned am I? Do, do, do you think he would change his mind? I think not. I think not. I mean, oh, what shit, kind serious? Of, yeah, I mean, like, the fact that he said no, why would he change his mind after that? Because mm, I'm, I'm trying to boil down if this is a, an Skin. appearance thing mm-hmm. or if it's like an inherent racial thing. I don't know, we need to it's ask you guys. I mean, they, they, <laughs> they, I need to ask them, not <laughs> them, like, you know? Because we are fucking racist. <laughs> yeah, I need to ask them, like, the first barrier to break is the fact that they are already Indian. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Skin doesn't really matter, you know, because mm. they still have the perception. Oh, they're gonna nail my wall, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. What what does a feel fair skin gonna do? Nail less yeah. harder? I don't know. <laughs> 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 because clearly, Indian people nail things harder, right? Uh, so <laughs> no pun intended. But see, I faced that before. I wanted to rent a room, you no know, Indian. I like fuck you, mm. you know. So then I saw his video. I was like, shit, just boils the fuel. Then I saw the comment. I like. These guys, they don't know this is shit is happening, right? right? Which is that pissed me off. Yeah, 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 I'm like, mad. I know, I know, bro. Actually, right, you can even see it, right? When you drive by a landed property, they will have the number. Mm. Then they say Chinese only or Malay only. They was they were, but you will never see Indian only one. Mm. You notice that, right? When you drive I've by, I've never seen. You never seen that. I've I've seen seen, when I seen it. I've I was never a kid. seen Indian only. On, yeah, on a banner. but always Chinese only or Malay only or girl only. They will have that listing, especially SS15, bro. You drive by SS15. But see, I understand when it comes to Malay only. Makes sense. Oh, because no Barbie, right? See, that that mm. makes there sense. There are certain sure. regulations. Yeah, right? uh, and if it's girls only, yeah, fair enough. Totally makes true. sense. Other than that, like, it's, there's no reason for... Yeah, yeah true. Right? Mm. Video share a lot, of, a lot of stuff, man. That was a really good video, man. Especially yeah. when you had the mm. conversation with the agent and they really don't answer. And then so, well, I remember there was a male agent and he was saying how like... Oh, bro, you understand, lah, bro. Then you're like, no, I don't really understand. <laughs> 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 but it's okay. <laughs> you know, you know what's annoying is like I can't even like scold these people. Yeah, like because it's, it's not the owner. Right? They're not the owner of the. Yeah. Like know. there's nothing for me to like tell them. Which is, which is damn frustrating. Like after like we after we done uh, with the filming, I felt damn like fucking like shit, bro. Like after after we recorded the whole thing, I'm like, you know what, yo, let's just take a break for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just damn shit, man. It hits bro, right. It, it hits proper right. hits. Yeah, like like hits I know. Right. Like I, I was expecting this but kind of result, but like the fact that it just like it happened, like it felt like, whoa, what the fuck is actually real? Like in front, like but right before, to you, they tell you like no Indian stuff. But before this, when before your friend shared that screenshot and all that, you ne- you never faced it before. I personally, because I've never, I've still live with my parents. Yeah. So like I know, like I have like a bunch of my other friends go who we'll face it. Yeah, but like it's always like I've. They tell me I I don't see it with my own eyes. We don't experience it. You don't experience yeah. it. Yeah, I see. Like for this, like I can see the conversation. Like he fucking say like we don't accept Indians because so and so. This is the reason he said I can't remember what exactly was that. It's a very disappointing time to be alive, my friend. <laughs> it's twenty twenty one and we yeah. still and there are people who still yeah. think this way. Which is why I feel like as, as as Indians, the only way we can we can get out of this 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 racism bubble is you gotta fucking. Work your ass off and just start your own business. You know, we gotta like yeah. go work, double the yeah. effort, yeah. Like, bro. But at least you shared awareness on it. Because mm. if we have a platform that you can share on, at least people are more aware. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> very right. happy that it's shared, but I'm still very like shocked to see that because people didn't know it's happening. It is quite sad, right? But at the same time, you should know that you're part of a generation that will change it. Mm. I hope yeah. so, la. You should know that slow, la. It's a slow step, la. Yeah. Even like I think like, two days ago, there was like a news on World of Bus. Uh, uh-huh. The Indian guy didn't get hired because he's Indian. Some shit like that, yeah. Right. So like, not <laughs> only in property, like in job scope, yeah. is even is yeah. probably is even worse. Yes, yeah. yes. Actually, they have that perception as well. Mm-hmm. It's like that, lah, bro. But we know that we do our best to. Know. And I, I got a feeling, lah, right? Mm-hmm. It's just that generation, bro. Mm-hmm. Serious shit. Like I think, right? If we have kids, I would like to think, lah. This is the positive side of me, right? I would like to think that when you have kids, you'll be like, you know, last time, right? They don't even let you mm-hmm. stay in the house because you're Indian. Huh? And then your kid will be like, dude, that's some fucked up time to be alive. Mm. Then you're like, yeah, man. So just know that you don't want to go there again. Mm. Right? So at least you shed light on it, talk about it. Then at least people know. That's why we all are here. Yeah. That's why I've always feel like, like Speak some truth. where he, is he right now, right? I felt like he had to work really extra harder compared to other races. Yeah, Actually, I don't it's even like know any other Indian content creator. I know that uh, Harvick. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Then yeah, got yeah. the another guy, Tarkley student. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Machi Rosma. Machi Rosma. I don't yeah. Other than that, I I don't see anyone else. Really. Yeah. Very, it's very very minimal. But you have to do something really outstandingly right, yeah. so yeah, that right. people will notice you and then they accept <coughs> you. If not means, uh, I don't really see a cool looking normal Indian dude talking. You don't see them. Yeah. You don't see traction. God, bro, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one is like a circle joke here, bro. Everybody under the table is like, yeah, bro. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see that coming, lah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. We, we 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 try to circle back, right? Because I know we're short on time, also, right? If I'm, what time is it? Six thirty. Twenty to go. Yeah, we, well, are, we got time already. We got time, right? bro. Okay, okay. Do you think, right, in front of camera, right? Do you need to maintain a certain persona? Far because I know, right, there are some YouTubers, there are some content creators, right? 
that have a totally different persona on camera. Right. And then when you get to know them, they are completely different. Yeah, they're completely right? different, right? Which is to me, I I, I hate that kind of shit. I okay. feel like. 90% okay 90 is too much probably 80% of these influencers and content creators are fucking fake online oh shit like, <laughs> like, like, thank you you calling like, them out son like, yeah. my like my own friends like I, oh, I've shit. seen right which for me I always when I first started I always because I look up to people like Eminem yeah. right where he's just constantly like be yourself just if you want to swear just fucking swear right bro, just bro, express yeah. yourself so because of that for me I'm I'm I feel like it's damn hard to fake myself on, on online. I can I can testify to this because I know you in person. <laughs> so you are you are yourself. So like the the jokes I say, the things that I say, you were you say it real life, bro. In, in real you life. have said it since you were from one. Bro. <laughs> right. I I can testify to this. You've been saying the same shit since you were from one. That's like I thing. know I know. Like, like, like I cannot. I. It it may business wise, it may be a stupid thing for me to do it, because like like I said with the whole. Censorship, marketing world, yeah. censorship world will get if you more ad friendly, family friendly, you get more jobs and shit. Yeah. Like to me, I don't. It's not worth it. It's, bro. it's not worth. You know what I mean? Be yourself on like. So it's that. La. But do you think it's tiring to be on camera after a while? See, if you don't fake it, it's not tiring. Not like, ah, bro. Yeah. Do you think I'm faking it in front of camera? Or do you think I'm myself? No, I don't think you're faking it. Like, right. I think from I'm what myself. with your with your vlogs, I watch yeah. your. As far as you know, you are like that in person as well. Right. Yeah. But even that one, I'm tired, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired to be on camera. After a while, you know, right? Every every podcast session, I feel like I love being on the podcast. Mm -hmm. I love talking. I love having a conversation. Mm -hmm. But after the podcast, I'm so fucking tired. Bro. <laughs> there is this expenditure of energy, uh -huh. right? That I never knew existed. Mm -hmm. But see, then that's just normal because you are you you you've been talking for like damn long. You, you get oh, tired because yeah. of it's true. not. I don't think you're, you're tired because of. Just you creating content. True lah. Just you tired because of you talking. Something also, like right, maybe it's because right, I talk in front of camera. Then I know I have to edit after that, bro. Then yeah, like, oh yo, God. yo. I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Like, let me tell you, and uh, a, a life tip uh. that would, would would make you put up more content. Invest in an editor. <laughs> Is it? I'm telling you that changes everything. Like when Marvin came into like started editing for me, I feel like oh shit, I can, because editing is the like. It's them texting, you know. Bro, I can't listen to music. I can't fucking yeah, do anything. Yeah. You have to be fully attentive to yeah, the details, yeah, bro. That's the thing. And because <sighs> the whole vlog is so repetitive, you, you, you get like, ah, fuck, is there something? See, I love editing, but not my vlogs. Oh, okay. Like, like okay. other shit, like my music video, I love doing because it's different. I, I get right? the feeling. I get the feeling. Right? When you push out a, th a type of content that's not your vlog. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. Wow. Now that you say that, but bro, I don't pay lah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you pay for time. You pay for time. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Damn lah. You Damn invest in an editor. Uh. Mm -hmm. But actually, right, Thanks, your, if I have a shit, per <laughs> if let's say lah, right, I have a shit personality, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it, let's just say in this in this universe, it's not the right thing to do to fake who I am online. Mm -hmm. I should tally who I am online with who I am in real life. But I have a shit personality. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm born an introvert. Don't really like talk. Whatever. Right. Does that mean I can't do YouTube? Silent vlogs, oh. bro. Silent Sil vlogs, <laughs> bro. It's I mean, a thing, bro. Well, it's a thing. Music behind what do you mean silent vlogs. Silent vlogs are people who don't talk, but they just record uh, their day, and uh, then people are just interested. Right, okay, I swear, okay. I swear that it's a thing. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you're like traveling, like but but reason. just to, to answer that that question, right? Yeah, I don't think it's wrong faking it as well. Right. Bro. If you gotta fake it, fucking fake it till you make it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> if you got, so. if you feel like your your own, which is why like. Playing characters work sometimes. Right. Right? Like, if let's say you feel like your personality is not, it, it sure, wouldn't not shine enough, enough yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't shine as bright as you think it would. You putting yourself as a character would, would get you out of that comfort zone of like, ah, fuck, maybe, mm. maybe if I play this character, I, I, can, I can be a completely different person. And it will be so tiring. Your own. It's, it's going to be fucking right. tiring. It's going to be so tiring. Yeah. yeah. I can't deal with that <laughs> shit. Oh my God. Is it, but which is why for vlogging, I. I don't think you can fake on your vlogs. How do you fake? Like how the fuck do you fake on your vlogs? Bro, right? I, I think it's it's similar to, and I don't know if this is maybe it's not true for 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 you two specifically, lah, right? Mm -hmm. But I think for most people, myself included, mm -hmm. I am I have a different personality depending on depending on who I'm with. Fair enough, hundred percent. Right? If I'm at work, I'm a Correct. certain way. With Correct. my friends, I'm a certain way. Mm -hmm. Family, certain way. Mm -hmm. So maybe vlogs would be a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a fair Unless you're point. true to yourself on your vlog, then after people are like, I know the I truth. I don't even know, know who I am, bro. <laughs> because you've been doing it to everybody, so you don't know who, who you are. That's why fuck am I? Sensui. <laughs> Sensui. <laughs> Sensui. This, this is why, right? I feel, right? When you keep 
that having that image in front of different people, right? You start to forget who you are. No, 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 no. Bro. It's, it's not something you consciously keep track of yeah. and you have to consciously turn on. It doesn't work that way. Mm. It comes naturally, but you notice that there is a difference in personality. You have to listen to that voice in your head, my friend. <laughs> that voice is six voices, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a parade, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. You are Sensui. <laughs> yeah. Sensui. You know who is Sensui? I don't know. Yu Yu Hakusho, Macha. What the fuck is that, man? <laughs> All right. <laughs> do, 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 do. do you watch anime? I don't I'll ask you a very important question later. Don't worry about it. Oh, he was nine years old. He was editing, bro. You're not watching any Max like us. True, 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 true. We are fucking failures, bro. Okay, once you started getting traction, right? Did people start noticing you? You're like, oh, shit, that's Rika. Here and there, though. Which is. Which is honestly, it feels good because you feel like, ah, fuck, your work is being like- Noticed. Noticed and stuff. But sometimes like some interactions can be damn fucking awkward as well. Like what? Oh, yeah, bro, like bro, bro, the bro, worst yeah. kind is like, which I get, which is somehow weirdly enough, like 50% of it is somehow it's interactions like this, huh? right? Let's say they, they see me, they be like excited, like, oh, Vika. And then you just freeze. And they expect me to start a conversation. Oh, oh. Which is, which is <laughs> so them awkward. weird. Like, for, I can't be like all full of myself. Oh, you want a picture? Like I can't, I can't yeah, say true, shit true, like true. that, right? <laughs> so like that kind of like interaction is the, is the worst, man. And that's fifty percent of it. It's like most Heaven of it. Yeah. Yeah. Freeze. Yeah. Not not freeze. It's like they, shock. It's just like they uh, expect me to say some shit. Oh. And you don't know to what to like, say. Also. Like what do I say, man? I just, I so usually I'll be like, oh hi, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> then there'll be like some awkward. Po- this shit happened. Even in fact, yesterday, like when I was in a show, like I went for the stand up comedy shit. This guy came and like, oh, Rika. And he just paused, froze there. Like, and then you so like. And then I'm like, yeah, hi. I know, I know the perfect counter. Mm. You just go, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you just. It's damn, it's damn awkward, it's man. So it's awkward. fucking awkward, man. It's painful. And but I'm still not, I, I, after all these years doing, I'm still not used to that, 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 that particular interaction. You know, I, I actually waited outside Casey Neistat's studio before. I saw the vlog, man. Oh, you saw the vlog? I saw uh, the vlog. Bro, this guy, right? Uh, so there was this kid with his mom and dad okay. in front of his studio. <coughs> okay. And then they said, hey. Okay, so just so you know, his studio in New York, right? Mm-hmm. It's downstairs. Correct. It's called uh, 365. 365. Yeah. Some shit like that, yeah. la, right? And he owns that company. Ma. Dude, this fucking family, it ring the bell, right? To ask a photo with KC, you know? Okay. And that's when I feel like, dude, down a bit too much, la, I feel. Because people are working, right? Yeah. Dude, KC straight come out, right? He take photo of everybody. It's not even like Oosh. he straight. You want a photo? Then he just hold, take your phone, take. Then he, he go next person, next person, next person. He like counting fifteen people in like five minutes. So why did you not take the picture? I did. I have a picture. Oh, you with did, him. Yeah, yeah. He just straight come to me. And I'm just standing there. He just you want a photo? I'm like uh, yeah. Then he just take my phone. Chup, 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 then he just walk. I think ah. that was like fuck y'all. I just finish yeah. it and then go back. Office but when back. I said right, I, I love your vid- he, I, I love your videos. Bro, bro, bro we already. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, man. fifteen people just one time go pop 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 pop. I think he's so like. He's so used to that. It's but to answer your question, right? Earlier you were saying, how do you like be fake in front of camera all that, right? Mm-hmm. I think that guy, it's not, I don't think he's fake in front of camera. <laughs> I think he is who he is. Mm-hmm. It's just that I think a lot of things suffer because of that. Because I, I don't know whether you know this, right? His marriage nearly failed because of this. And he, started, oh, a po- yeah, okay. he started a podcast with his wife okay. to talk it out and shit. Mm-hmm. And I think after he stopped it, I think that's when the relationship got better. Okay. So it kind of affects people around you also, bro. Mm-hmm. When you started vlogging, was it like that? Not really. When no? I started vlogging, I was single, bro. I mean, but your, <laughs> your family all that oh, out, fa- No, I see. That's, <laughs> that was, that's a long pause. Man. <laughs> family, friends. No, see, the reason I say when I vlog, I don't vlog my family. Oh. Like they are not in my. Fa- I just saw a vlog where you were your family making that what, the plastic thing or that one, right? The plastic thing. What I don't know. Like thing? you were doing like this. Uh, the the bar and. Song. That's not my family. Oh, that's not your family. That's, yeah. not, that's my my art director's family. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You don't vlog yeah, your family I don't anymore. Vlog my family. Last time, also no. Never. Only the only time they were in my my vlog was during my sister's wedding. Oh shit! Even oh. that, like, it's, they just here and there kind of thing. I don't vlog my family members. Like to a certain extent, like even like when I was dating, you know, I don't vlog who, I, who I'm dating with and all. So a lot of things I don't show on my vlog. Oh. So it's just that like was very different for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I remember that, <laughs> bro. If you like track back to like uh-huh. before vlog five oh, I think I even vlogged myself taking a piss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, you can see like the urine stream, like shit, <laughs> shit. It's like a POV. I thought it's yeah, like, bro. I thought it's your expression, of it, bro. Bro, it was like you see the urine coming out, also, bro. I was like drunk that night. I was like, uh-huh. fuck it. Then I was editing. I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> But like for me, like I just don't show my family. <clears throat> That's yeah. a good thing to do, yeah. 
I did it in the beginning. My dad showed me middle finger, bro. Shit, man. <laughs> but it was that a was funny iconic. thing. Uh, it felt funny. Until like. today, people still talk, talk about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, should have should have should have wrong fucking family. <laughs> I don't want to fuck. I was thinking, like, bro. Okay. <laughs> Next. Actually, I talked about burnout already, but uh, you were talking about music, right? Mm-hmm. So now that you say that your whole t- uh, strategy is doing content and doing music, in between, do you think the angle is actually music then? Would you want to like fully do music? I want to if I had the if if I can produce music on a constant basis. Like. Hey, rap something now? I cannot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oh, honest answer. <laughs> do you do you do, so? I can't I'm, freestyle. Oh, okay, 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 bro, it's tough, bro. It's, your freestyle is like. Bro, freestyle requires talent, man. I go. Yo, what that the one? hell is people smoking, right? man? Freestyling puts you apart from a from someone who yeah. can just say words and like a rapper, rapper. Right, right, right? bro. <laughs> no, it's only because we already know the standard, bro. Yeah. When you know like. You know logic and you know M and all that. Then you know the standard is so high, bro. Mm-hmm. But actually, if you look at Drake, he ri- he has to write one. He, most of the rappers most have to, to write. And understandably so, man. That shit is yeah. wildly difficult. Yeah. yeah. But I heard the tip is you gotta know what's the next word. So if you know the next word is like rhyme, then you just say the word time first. Mm-hmm. Like it's about time. I'm about to rhyme. Then the next word has to think. So the rhyme will join with that word. That's uh, the tip I know. I, mean, I know time a day. <laughs> hey, rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> I th- I, that was the tip, la, but even that one also was damn tough. Your Actually, brain must be super sharp to do yeah, that. Bro. Yeah, correct. Did, did you like listen to Eminem about how he he's, he legit writes on paper? Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. I don't know how the fuck you do that. That dude. guy is mental, man. But have you guys heard of this guy called Harry Mack? No. no, no, He's so familiar, though. Harry Mack is this freestyle, freestyle rapper. Harry Mack? He is fucking insane, bro. Harry he's not like a, like a <coughs> your mainstream rapper, no? He, he does on YouTube and stuff. Like this guy? Yeah. Okay. So he, what he does is he goes to like now the content he posts he goes to Omega, he asks them to give three random words oh, and wow. instantly he just and his his rhymes are not like simple like like crime time fine he, he, his rhymes are not like simple rhymes like sure. that. Sure. He proper sentences. It's, it's hard <laughs> for me to explain this whole thing. He he creates a complete story around the yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King crazy. Bro, do you, do, when you were younger, did you watch this show called Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yes, uh, I've heard of the show, but I've, I've never seen. But you heard of it? Yeah. You heard of it? Yeah. There's this guy named uh, I think it's Wayne Brady. He's a he's a black dude as well. Incredible. I met him in real life, and this guy also he can do that. Uh-huh. And it's not it's like the three word thing, and then he tells a whole story, and the, it doesn't need to rhyme per se. Mm. Sometimes it's also like the yeah, the, the, yeah. the what do you call that? How many how many syllables mm. per per haiku, line? Uh, haiku, is it? No, no syllables oh. per line is like five syllables is. I want to go to Whatever Spain, la. right? Okay. I want to go to uh, sorry, six is Spain, right? So these guys can go like six, 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 six or six, five, six, that that thing. So that's how it rhymes as well. But the guy just links everything together. Yeah, crazy man. Yeah, but with your rap, do you have a process in which like you draft out everything? Do you have like a direction? To me, uh, to me, at first I listen to the beat first. And then with the beat, I come up with like a storyline. Okay. And then <coughs> usually I write the the hook first, the chorus first, and then I start. Oh, you do chorus first. Yeah. yeah. And then from how it works. How 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 long does it take to actually produce one music, one song? Ah. Uh? Uh, to produce or to write? To write and produce everything like the whole it bang. It depends, la. man. Like some days, like I don't know if you guys heard of my song, the the Bangsa Girl. Ah, I've heard of it. That Bangsa Girl. That one was. It was also quite hot. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a very <coughs> Lil Dicky inspired song, but Lil Dicky is an amazing rapper. Where you guys can check him out. Uh, I heard the beat instantly in my head. I'm like, yo, this is the exact story you wanna do. Like the story, basic. Right. The storyline is basically I take her out for a date, and she's like a hater. You know, she hates Vikawol and oh. shit. I take her out for a date. Somehow she falls in love and stuff. We go to the bit, and I find out she's actually a man. She has like a dick. So that's the whole storyline. Wow. So I came up with the entire that whole thing. I think I wrote within like a day. Oh, yeah. you had ideas. So when I had when I, when you have the idea, Bang. on the same day you can do the whole thing. But there are also songs where like it takes like sometimes two weeks, sometimes three weeks. Sometimes I just stop writing for a bit. So Trust it depends me. on how much Damn. how inspired you are. So like. surprised you can come up with a girl and take her to <laughs> bed and then she has a dick, bro. I don't know what <laughs> you are smoking wild, on that man. day, la. How <laughs> the Google Chow that came out from nowhere. But I think la. it's a lot more difficult to produce songs versus uh, videos, bro. One hundred percent. Right, I think video yeah. like to come up with direction and to come up with like a whole entire story, right, mm-hmm. bro. That one is damn tough, bro. Because then only you realize, right, the production needed to do it. 
Yeah. Like, you know, like certain scenes, you need to have certain camera angles. Then you're like, oh my God, la, then how am I going to recreate and all that? Yeah. So music is a bit easier, but I think like the finishing touch, like post-production for music is tougher. Because kind of like, sometimes when you produce a song, it's like missing something. Like yeah. a, like which, a is why, which is why you always, like for me, I thought I could learn music production myself. I, I signed up for courses, online oh, courses. Shit, you know, serious? Oh, ringgit, but didn't work, right? Mm. So like now, right now, I work very closely with my friend. Uh, he, he's a music producer. His name is Prime Kid. So he's the one who produces my songs. He because yeah. I cannot sing, bro. Like my fucking voice is not like a singing voice. So you need like a sound engineer for you to like Bump guide you, right? Uh. So he does all these things for me right now. Oh, so when you find like a music producer, things gets done mm. very easily because oh, he I knows see. what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Like I think for us as like YouTubers, we tend to like micromanage everything. We want to. We tend to do everything yeah, all ourselves, which is like it's a, heavy. Bro. It's heavy on us, right? It's quite so, heavy. which is why, like for me at least, for 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 this year, I'm, I'm I'm trying to like push. Okay, you know what? Like like for example, Marvin, he edits my shit instead of me like micromanaging. So yeah. now I don't even like he does the work. But bro, I think your following is so big. You need to do that. Like for I, me, I still see, I still can do it myself, bro. Regardless. But it's just that for, for, for okay. So I have a full time job, right? Mm-hmm. I don't even know whether I'm considered YouTuber. I don't know. I don't know what I am, bro. Yeah, I mean, you are posting <coughs> on YouTube. You're a YouTuber, man. So you post yeah. one time enough already, lah. I mean, as long as you have a YouTube channel, you're a YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah. Bro, that everybody is a fucking everybody YouTuber, is bro. YouTube. Everybody's a social media media influencer. Yeah. Right? But like, for me, I don't know whether like, I reached that level where I can hire someone, bro. Mm-hmm. Because also, right, sometimes like, when you record something, then how do you know, do you have to brief Marvin and be like, hey, bro, this part you cannot show, bro. <coughs> Yeah, so that's, that's <laughs> see, I understand that one. So <laughs> that's true. The thing is that for vlogs, it's a bit difficult. So sometimes if I vlog m- myself, I just I, I edit, take out some footage first. And oh, he I passed you, then you uh, cut. Mm. <sighs> but like you, panda panda, I like, know which one to vlog, which one not to vlog. You, you know why I'm like that or not? Because right when I was watching Casey Neistat, right, he explained this whole day. He was like, I wake up at 4 a.m. I go for a 20 km run. I'm like, I'm not gonna run 20 km, but okay. <laughs> so he runs, right? Then after that, he come back, he go to work, go to work, vlog everything, then go have lunch meeting, then this meeting, then that meeting, spend time with kids, everything. Edit into 2 a.m., sleep, wake up at 4 a.m. I'm like, bro, that's not gonna work, bro. That's crazy, man. And he does it, he did it daily. He did dude. it for two years straight, right? Yeah, dude. Crazy, man. I don't know how the fuck. See, like doing that is one thing, but finding content is in a, that I, th- I think that's the hardest thing. Bro, it's, it's, I, I don't know how he does it. But he can make like grilled cheese sandwiches in the office. Right? Look amazing. Cool. I just don't know how he does it. That sounds nice, eh? Cheese sandwich <laughs> right? right now. But it's, it's just random things. It's like skateboarding through New York. But actually, it's just how he moves throughout New York. Mm. But it's the way... It's not that he knows how to do the thumbnail, right? Which is... It's the key for YouTube success. Yeah. yeah. Thumbnail. Mm. Then title also on point. Mm-hmm. And then the content is basically his day only, bro. Mm-hmm. Right? But I don't know how he did it. But I knew Casey and I said, right? When he was like, I think 200k subscribers. Mm-hmm. And at that time, right, he was just doing like, I fix barang in my office only. Okay. Or do like short clips and shit. So I thought like, wow, if this guy can do it, I can do it. But then mine cannot. Lah, because mine is just like, who cares about this random dude? It's just that, I think a lot of people want to go into vlogs, right? But they don't realize, right, that you need to be someone that in your vlogs matter. But Casey and I said didn't start like that. Yeah. He was a nobody. So yeah, no, no, bro. Nobody. He did short clips for a lot of brands. He oh, did for Apple. So he had his name out yeah. there. Okay. But to the okay. public, I don't think he was very right? well known. Yeah, right? that's what I thought as well. Because he was known to a certain extent. Then after that, he said, I'm going to do daily vlogging. Which isn't new, uh, by the way. Like a, a lot of people at the time was doing daily, vlo- daily vlogs already. Like Ben Brown, you know. Yeah, Ben Brown. Fun, for, fun, for, fun with Louis. Fun for Louis or whatever. Okay, okay. Right? A lot of these guys have been doing like daily vlogs for like years, bro. And Casey just comes out nowhere and just changes the whole fucking yeah, he game. He changed yeah, he the cracked whole, the code, bro. He proper changed the vlogging game. I don't know how the fuck he does it. Uh, yeah. And he makes it look like it's a movie or so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's a ten minute video ten minute video every day. It feels like a movie every day. But when he stopped, I was at a loss, bro. Right? Like I honestly felt like fuck man. Like I don't know what to do. Yeah. I don't know what to watch. You, it felt like YouTube wasn't like a fun yeah. place anymore. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> until today I still feel like when I scroll through YouTube, there's nothing to look forward to. Same, one hundred percent. Right. I, I don't know who I watch now, so yeah. I don't think I watch anybody. Yeah. On YouTube. It feels very like all over the place, right? You have like maybe like one in twenty good videos, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, once every two days type of thing. See, this is all because of platforms like TikTok and all they ruined the entire. <laughs> oh, 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 all right, <laughs> all right. I right. love TikTok. Uh, I see you. Are you on TikTok? I have to be on TikTok. I have to be. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. I I don't know how to do TikTok, lah, bro. Maybe I'm like, I sound like such an old fellow, like a boomer at this point. But the thing is that you want to get into this, you have to follow you the, to. TikTok is the, 
the next shit, man. It's, a, it's not the next shit. It, it is, is the, the shit, shit now. Already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't it's know how to factual. do it, bro. It's because right, right, when I started this whole vlogging thing, I also thought like I could do the brand thing, I do the growth thing and all that. But then I think I realised, right, I think I just do it for myself. Because mm-hmm. right, the expectation is so much, dude. Mm-hmm. Because I, after I realised I do it, right, there's a lot of work involved to it. Mm-hmm. And you know, there have been a, a few brands that call me up to go and like collab with them and all that. Mm-hmm. But it's so stressful, man. But I mean, that's how you grow, man. I know, but... Bro, you know, right? I, I remember my first time, it was like Myeongdong Topoki. <coughs> oh, shit. They reached out to you. Uh? Yeah, then I was oh, like, okay, I'll do it, uh-huh. right? And it was a collab with Brad. So I did it, and I was in front of my camera. And for the first time, I feel like, damn, man, I don't know who I am, bro. Mm-hmm. Like this imposter syndrome type of shit. Mm-hmm. And the time, I think my subscribers was like 200 plus on you, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck you uh-huh. want me, bro? Uh-huh. So I was doing it, and I'm like, oh, this is so stressful. Then after that, I had a few more calls. Then I just like... Every time I go for a review or a brand collab, I, I, I go there feeling like it's work already. Okay. Bro, then I feel so emo. I feel like I'm going to work, bro. Mm-hmm. That's why. So that which means you're not enjoying what you're doing. <coughs> 100%. 100%. I just do it because like I like to recall back what I've done. Mm-hmm. You know? I met my girlfriend off YouTube, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Comment section, bro. Shit. That's why man. I asked you the How question. How the fuck did that work out, man? Bro. See, only a YouTuber would truly understand. <laughs> right? Only a YouTuber right, would truly understand uh, how unique that shit yeah, is, bro. Yeah, yeah. She was bas- I, I went to eat pan mi. Then she was like, wait, the pan mi looks damn good. I was like, Jom, let's go. In the end, we didn't go pan mi, bro. <laughs> we wait, so how do you know, like, is, is a girl or guy? Like Her name was Jen. Okay. And she just, actually, her, her username is Jen ZZZ or some shit okay. like that. Okay. Because YouTube is fucked up, right? Okay. Then she's like, hey, you want to go have pan mi or not? No, I asked her, you want to go have pan mi or not? Because she said pan mi looks good. Then she's like, Jom, let's go. And on Facebook, then that's it. Done. Yeah, bro. And, oh. and and you're still together with Hunter. Bro, five yeah. years really. Shh. Yeah, I'm banging. Gonna away. propose also, bro. For fuck's sake, yeah. man. I know. This is like some PewDiePie <laughs> story. La. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know, right, when we got together, uh-huh. she said the same thing. It's like, uh-huh. hopefully, the next PewDiePie. Hopefully, I'm next Mar- Marzia. Marzia. Yeah, like, I think we can dream. <laughs> we're gonna manifest that, man. And they love to go to Tokyo, too. If you notice, PewDiePie and Marzia, yeah, yeah, they love to go very, to Japan. Like, they love for the, the Tokyo, Japan, Japan anime shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Same thing shit. about anime, uh? Oh god, oh, we're going bro, there. Uh, you don't watch what anime, anime you watch, uh? I don't watch. But you anime. you know anime is not. I know the Clash of the Titans or some shit. Oh, like god. Attack on Titans, <laughs> not Clash of Titans. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Bro, but I've I've bro. never watched a single episode of anime. But you know, uh, anime. Some of the anime characters. You're right? forcing it too hard, okay? No, no I'm don't. trying my best, bro. I'm trying my best, bro. Is is. Goku, uh, no? Yeah, Goku. Goku is anime. Goku is right? anime. Yeah. Dragon Ball is anime. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Holy shit, bro. Okay, bro, Dragon, okay, I've never watched Dragon Ball, so I know of Dragon Ball and I know sure. Goku. That's it. All right. It's, I'm, I'm just going to ask this shit. If there's two anime girls you want to smash, mm-hmm. what anime girls would it be? I'm he doesn't fuck? watch I anime, know, bro. I know, bro. I just <laughs> want to, to ask be it. Fair, but to be <laughs> fair, like I think, I think anime <laughs> girls are them hot. I, I'll give you that. Like, the, the boobs bro. and all that. <laughs> Bro, that's like asking someone, right, that has never seen like a specific thing, like whether you want to bank that bro, thing. You have I was s- at least banking the fact he will say Bulma or something. Like, How the fuck is Bulma? I don't watch, man. Bro, but you know, he knows Goku. He didn't even say Vegeta. He's not going to say oh, Bulma, true, bro. True, 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 true. Bro. <laughs> bro. Ah, uh, man. Bro, it's too far, bro. Too far. Bro, I was trying, I was trying to milk something out, man. You know what I'm saying? At least now we know he don't watch. Uh, <laughs> he know, he never don't watch. Bro, he but he watch a, cartoons? He called Attack yeah, on Titan. He yeah. called Attack of Titan Clash of Clan, bro. Okay, I would go with Totally Spice. Oh, oh, oh. Sh- oh. Sam, the Sam. red haggard. Sam. Sam. Obviously Sam, bro. Sam or Clover or... Sam. The red the one. Red, red, red one is Sam, Sam, right? The green Baju one. The green Baju one. Ooh. Sam bro. is the obvious We're all on the same page. Clover, Clover is a very far second, bro. I remember like uh, in high school, when I first got into like Googling for porn. Oh. Like, in, in, yeah. in primary school, I meant. Uh. Like I used to search for Powerpuff Girls Naked. Nice. Damn. But do you have fingers to give a hand job? <laughs> bro, Powerpuff Girls. Ah. What the fuck? You smoking, bro? Bro, bro Powerpuff Girls <laughs> can't even give you a hand job. Bro, bro. they're Power doing Puff you Puff a wrist <laughs> job, bro. Powerpuff Girls by default is fisting category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if you started so young doing content already, right, mm. it's hard to like just watch normal content already. Right? No, man. Like, you have oh, time, how, bro. How is it hard? I don't know, bro. You have time, bro. You're like doing all that shit since you were young. I mean, that's. There's time, what do you mean there's no time? Bro, John always don't have a lot of time. Man. You can always make time, man. Yeah. I feel like, okay, this is like, I feel like when people say they have no time, they're just, you're just giving yourself an excuse. 
Wow, gone. shit. I don't know what I'm doing in my life, bro. <laughs> Maybe I'm wanking off too much in front of the computer, bro. <laughs> don't grant theory. There's a personal attack right there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a personal attack right there. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, to be fair, like, I used to always say, like, I have no time, I have no time. But if you properly, like, if you want to do something, I, you can you schedule you can, time. You can, you you can pay for time once. Sacrifice you your time, as in your sleep time a little bit. La. No, bro, I can. Uh. But it's just that at that time, right, when you were editing when you were younger, right, don't mm. you think like render time and like computers and all that, it's like kind of hard, bro. And you had school and shit. See, I think it's different if you actually enjoy doing it. Oh, true. Right? Then you don't even think about it. If the fact that I love editing and I don't mind waiting. Like it's the same shit like when, when you when you stream for movies and all, you don't mind fucking waiting. You know, when days oh, where... The, 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 you have to right? wait for the grave yeah. thing to... Because you want to see it, so you yeah. just... Fuck, I don't, I don't mind waiting. It's, it's the same shit. I feel like it's the same concept. Right. Right. None of you agree. No, no. <laughs> we, we no. Relate. We are trying to relate, but I can't relate because when we were young, I was yeah. doing. I, I was doing editing a podcast, mm. right? Uh-huh. Okay, just recently, the the one. Oh, I forgot what the fuck is the number. Now, right? I was editing it, right? Uh-huh. And there was a problem, right? Exporting the video, bro. Okay. And I spent two hours in front of the computer right? trying to fucking figure it out. Uh-huh. And every time I exported, right, Final Cut Pro kept on telling me right? missing frame. I'm like, how bro, the fuck is yeah. it missing frame? Yeah. It's a file given to me by Chong. Mm-hmm. It was missing frame. I'm like, bro, what's missing? Yeah, <laughs> the, the frame, like the frame. The like, video, they told you, bro. The video is fully <laughs> there, bro. Uh, I sat there for two hours exporting, exporting, export, and thank fuck it's not in like year 2000 lah, where mm. I have to wait fucking four hours, right? <clears throat> I was just waiting there, bro. I'm like, dude, this is like purgatory for me day. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe I should like I should just pay someone to do it. Then maybe it's better. Uh, social media intern. <laughs> Any intern want to do young session? Yo, start off with intern, bro. Yeah. Like I always, that's like, honestly, like starting off with intern is like cheap, cheap labor yeah. shit. <laughs> I knew it. Right? Uh. But then it's also important for you to see like, you obviously don't want to invest a huge amount. You want to see that the internship period is when you assess someone, right? Did you have an intern under you? Marvin was my intern first. Oh shit. Oh, wow. intern Mata, you pass, ah, Mata. <laughs> you pass, ah. Uh, no, it's good, man. It's damn good. Uh, oh, so shit. I'm like, okay, la, fine. Oh, so like that intern. three months, okay, let's test it out. To be fair, he started doing MC also like two months, he didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his face. And he's like, he's like I edited this. <laughs> but yeah, bro, like, how are you, bro? Wow, bro, bro you. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I got fucking short breaths, bro. John is almost thirty. <laughs> it's, just, it's the beard, lah. It's the beard, lah. Okay, it's the beard, lah. Bro, beard. his twenty has got a savage beard compared to me, bro. <laughs> he looks like Leonidas. I look like his wife, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who is that, but okay. Leonidas on th- three hundred. Oh, okay. oh, his name is Leonidas. Leonidas. Then the king of Sparta. La. I'm saying he looks like king of Sparta. I look like his wife. Because I don't <laughs> have a You wish you looked like his wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what do you have to say right, to inspiring people who want to venture into what you are doing mm-hmm. but finding it difficult? <laughs> God damn. Finding it difficult in what sense? Oh, that's a, that's a really good question to his question, bro. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, okay, you want to turn out content. Okay, and then but there's already a lot of people out there, you know. Uh-huh. How do they stand out? See, that's the thing. That's the hardest challenge for content creators. How do you stand out, right? That one, I wish I had the answer for that shit as well. At the same time, right? You want to tell them be yourself. Yeah, huh. but like, that's huh. success huh. cliche yeah. answer. Huh. Be yourself, but huh. it is the answer, right? You gotta huh. be yourself. Be yourself, but stand out. Bro, yeah. Hopefully, I've been myself so of six years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still yourself. two thousand, subs- three thousand subscribers, bro. Like, like to me, I feel like the best way with, with this is. I'm sure you'd have like a niche. Like like for example, a few content creators you look up to, just take a little bit of like his style. Yeah. Take from here, take there. Whatever you like from this person, take that and then merge it into your Actually there was this like brilliant quote by Conan O'Brien. You know Conan O'Brien? Yeah. Yeah, this is guy he he did a speech, I think it was at Drake. Uh, I think at Drake University. This is long like half an hour YouTube video of his speech. And he was saying how like a lot of uh, comedians and a lot of like those late night talk show hosts they always aspire to be the talk show host before them. And through imitation become, uh, comes profound reinvention. And I feel like that's how you kind of find your way. Right? Yeah, because I, I do, I direct copy Casey nice that bro. Yeah, Time lapse, then started, story. Yeah, we all started copying someone. <laughs> yeah, bro. Then after that, you kind of just... You find your own way from Yeah, bro. That. Then after that, people are like, hey, bro, I really like you doing a certain thing. Then you're like, oh, shit, that's my thing. Then you kind of realize. Yeah. But the sad thing about YouTube, right, I feel, right, is that you don't know what you're going to be, bro. That means you uh, can have an idea of what you're gonna be. Bro, but you don't know what you're gonna be known as, yeah, bro. Yeah. So right, like for example, right, I could be the guy that does food. For the longest time, I just do food, right? And people come to my channel doing food. 
And then uh, all it takes, right, is for me, right, to just do one video. Like, for example, I did my bubble tea video. Yeah. I just want to tell you, I fucking hate bubble tea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because you had like five in one day. Yeah. Yeah. Two days. No, I didn't have it in one day. Like. It was in fucking, one day. Yeah, it was in two weeks. Within two weeks. And I, I don't like bubble tea because it's so sweet. But I like the regular, just tea and jelly. I don't like the pearl one, you know. You don't like the bubble, lah. Mm. All right. But after that video went viral, right? I hit like 300k, right? 300k in the video? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Damn. Then after I got 300k, right? everybody know me as the bubble tea guy. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I went for like inside scoop event, all that shit. They're like, hey, bro, you're the bubble tea guy. I'm like, oh, fuck. Milk it, man. You yeah. sure? <laughs> <laughs> like, no pun intended, but milk it, man. <laughs> <laughs> milk it. Bro, after that, right? I just like, dude, you never know what you're going to be because people, like, you. it becomes who you are, you know, that video. So you don't know, bro. Yeah. What was that one video that stand out in your entire video you ever did? Uh? Bro, he's got millions, bro. I remember some videos you have, yeah. it like hits millions. Yeah, but wow. that one video that sort of like gave me like a stepping stone to my channel was uh, this video, not even the Najib oh. one. Uh, this video, I did 10 reasons why I hate living in Malaysia. Shit. So oh. that was a proper like got me to, oh shit, I should do more rents. So that, oh, that's how you shape the... Oh. Yeah. So, because in, in, in the beginning, I was, I was doing all these pranks. I was trying out <coughs> my content as well. So then I realized renting works. So that was when I, I started doing more rent I videos. See. I think it's lists. Lists also. People love lists, bro. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You know lists, like top 10 things I love. To oh, lists. Oh, okay. Lists. Yeah. See, at that point of time, that worked. Now, honestly, now I don't know what the fuck works, man. I don't know what, what is like... I know. Malaysian guy reacts to. Okay, yeah, reacts to. See, speaking of that, we actually did a video of like reacting to like uh, shit like uh, scenes from an Indian movie. Oh, no? oh. Fucking copyright. Huh? Like oh, we did an entire, like an entire, we shot all nicely with nice lights and all that <laughs> shit. YouTube doesn't allow us to. You just have to put it and then like X number of seconds. Actually, do you know how many seconds before they, <coughs> they pull you? The last I checked, it was... 10 to 15 seconds essentially, 15, like, uh. right? Now, now, honestly, I don't know. They keep changing. They change it and they don't yeah. tell you. Yeah, bro. yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. <sighs> so now I don't know. Because like, honestly, like I was going into the whole like, okay, reaction, reacting. Mm. But then I see this fucking... Copyright thing. Copyright shit. And the video, not even, it's not like you can't monetize. The video got blocked. Why not you react to your own shit, bro? <laughs> what? From your, from your original, <laughs> like, no, no, you backtrack, right? You go to the first one, right? <laughs> then you react to that. Like, oh, yeah, I should have edited that or whatever, I should have done that. What kind it's of fucking- But it's damn like cringe at the same time, man. Bro, it's so cringe, yeah. bro. Maybe that's why it's worth reacting to. Yeah. Sure. Dude, I'll, I'll, Maybe. You, okay, so right, there's uh, this guy, his name is Avia Japan. Okay. I won't disclose his name, right? Okay. But he came on the podcast. He actually found us through YouTube as well. Okay. Right? And like, he got, he, he's, he's doing his own thing. He's doing his own business. But he doesn't like to go out and talk to, doesn't like to interact. He's quite an introvert. Mm -hmm. I'm not shitting on you, bro. Okay, you know I love you. <laughs> I just had lunch with you. Okay, <laughs> he's listening. He should listen to this one. Okay, but he's he decided to rewatch every single vlog of mine. Oosh. Bro, that's five years worth of content, bro. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of well, shit I think to go through. Love you, man. Yo, that's like different. Like, there are some obsession. people, right? There are some people who who really, really like those diehard fan type thing. And I've had a couple who just like, bro, I love your shit. I started from vlog one, bro. Vlog one is a long time ago, my friend. Mm. So he started right from the beginning, and every time he timestamps shit. It's like, bro, new character unlock la or some shit like that, right? I cannot go back, bro. I cannot, I cannot watch. I cannot watch myself, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's the way I speak. It's the way I move. It's ev everything, bro. I hate, I hate myself, yeah. bro. I mean, I feel I understand. I completely understand because I cannot watch my old vlogs as well. Cannot, right? It's just like, what the fuck's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hear my why voice. Why would you do that? I can't even hear my voice. Uh -huh. Because the way I speak at that time, right, was kind of like I was trying to cater to a very neutral audience. Okay. So I spoke with a like a neutral accent. Uh -huh. And that was like your time. Uh -huh. Because now, right, I'm like, fuck this lah. I'm just not talking like how I usually talk. It's so tiring, bro. Mm -hmm. I already had to like, do that for two years in the US. So fuck this shit. <laughs> then after that, when I rewatch it, I cannot tahan, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm so fucking tired of listening to that shit. <laughs> when you started doing, right, did you have that feeling when you were editing yourself? While I was editing, not exactly. At that time lah. Yeah. Oh, no feeling. Bro, My bro he loves okay, maybe, shit maybe, la. maybe, maybe, I can't remember this thing. I'm pretty sure I felt them cringy listening to my own self. Bro, sure, cringe one. Uh, I, I think I'm sure. I, feel, I think everybody feels the same way listening to their own voice. Then I think to a point, if <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent true. Right? Then yeah. it's hard. Eventually, bro. you get used to it. Then you like now. I don't mind listening to the yeah. Shit, yeah. I think it's because you're on camera so often, right? Then you like you get used to it, like. Yeah, which a lot of people are actually not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like when we interview certain CEOs and all that, even when it's for their own brand, right? Wow, they're so uncomfortable yeah. in front of camera, bro. Yeah. It's so difficult. They just tense up and shit, mm-hmm. which I think is a skill that people learn. Yeah. Do you think, right, like in the future, everybody would own a sort of like a channel that they would create? Because uh, I, I feel, right, that's the only way you get your shit out. And people like kind of know you for who you are. I think if you're a brand, you will, that's the, that's the, Parts that everybody has to go. Like, like if, if I'm not selling anything, what's the point? I don't know, man. I got a feeling, right? Everybody will start to have like, because you know, you look at Facebook, they have like Facebook Live, mm. they have all this specific curated content. And if you look at a lot of things, it used to be just image, like flat image. Mm. But a lot of people have been more comfortable being on camera. And I got a feeling it's kind of like how to legitimize yourself in the online space, you know? Because let, let's face it, lah, right? Like, if you knew this person, mm-hmm. right? You want to know more about them right like if you were like example if you were you were checking out Marvin before this before his internship I'm pretty sure you went through his Facebook Instagram all that just to like go through mm-hmm. see what and then you probably listen to a video too mm-hmm. then after you like have to listen then like okay I think this guy can jalan mm-hmm. I think I got a feeling everybody will eventually have a sort of like a platform whether it's like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube yeah. so yeah. it's basically like a LinkedIn but in yeah. video format is it? I got a feeling bro because uh, I, I feel like that's how people legitimize. You know what? I've been going through a lot of resumes recently, interviewing people. Mm-hmm. And all of them put your Instagram, bro. Instagram, uh. Yeah. Why? And it, it, bro, yes. they are planners, yes, bro. Still. They are coordinators, execs. And they put all their Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it's just to like, see whether, I don't I mean, it's just I think true. Instagram is a place where you see like, your true self, like what the fuck do you do? Like, yeah. That's hey, bro, where you read you people. Gotta, I think the mic, be saying it. Ah. Okay, you can help me shift. What uh. happened? Because you're, you're speaking to the side of the mic, not okay. to the mic. Yeah, okay. Kay. Yeah. What was I saying? I still don't remember. <laughs> no, like Instagram <laughs> and you see your real shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I mean, like, it's it works in, like, in your dating world. So, right, the first thing yeah, you see, you're going to check their... Bro, that's why, bro. I feel like if you don't know, right, then you're quite hesitant. Is it, is it a scam? Uh? I think I'll go there and then be a, a guy with a dick or some shit. <laughs> 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 but, like, you know what's, what's crazy? Yeah, I'm sure you guys heard of the whole metaverse thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah like, what, what do you guys think about that? Oh, bro, I legit believe it's the future. Uh, yeah. What, well, really play one? Uh? You ready? Uh? I, <laughs> Damn crazy. I, I, I think, I suspect it will start off as like, um, in, like if I want to hang out with my friends, right? Mm-hmm. And not in the normal world, we would meet up somewhere, either Mama or the studio, whatever, right? Yeah. But then in the metaverse, it would just be all of us log on. Everyone will be represented by their own character, mm. right? So I can be a giraffe, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can be a girl, whatever, right? And then we can all like sit down and play cards together. We can what, do whatever together, mm. right? And then it, it's in this realm where what would be impossible otherwise becomes possible. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like, what's that game? Uh? Ready you play one? Ready la. Play one. Black, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Oh, so yeah, that was going to be Black Mirror. Then, you have, then like, I can, I can like purchase clothing mm-hmm. that's for my for avatar. For the avatar. Right? I can trade, I mean, have our own currency. And it's, like a whole, it's like a different world. Yeah. It's I, fucking scary. I man. think it's fucking brilliant. It's brilliant, but it's them scary at the same time. Yeah. Thing. yeah. I don't know how to do that, bro. Imagine having sex with a girl you don't know (laughs) in the metaverse. (laughs) Ah, I don't know, bro. Imagine your son comes up to you and be like, hey, dad, I've got a girlfriend. Real life or metaverse? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, bro. For real. It's going to be like that. Yeah, it's legit going to be like that. You can buy like properties and shit. Yeah. It's basically the real world, but then duplicated. Yeah. Like like a game. Maybe we are in one already, bro. Exactly. Oh, fuck. Because we already transitioned so far and then we are a game within the game. Right, because oh. right. If you think about like the, how long humans have been alive, it's a fraction of of, of history. Uh-huh. It's a fraction of the duration of the universe. Uh-huh. What you would be naive to think that this is reality, right? Yeah, bro. This is why right, I don't believe in God. You, you don't believe in God. I don't believe it? in God because I know we're in the matrix. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't make fuck, s- it doesn't make sense. Uh-huh. There are too many decisions to be made, mm-hmm. and there are too many like options. So there's no fucking way right? there's a god. Yeah. Because if there was a god, he would probably be like, hey, that's not right, lah, bro. And then just end it. Lah. <laughs> and if you're so fucking powerful and shit, he would have probably stopped a lot of things and done, right? done a lot more things. There shouldn't be COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cancer. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I feel so. Do you, do you think it's going to be a thing like Metaverse? For sure, 100%, man. Have it's you bought definitely. any NFTs? Uh, no, NFTs, no. <laughs> I was just I was talking to that guy. That one I was talking about, the pen pages dude. Mm-hmm. And he said his wife gave him his first NFT. And I never thought like NFTs were a thing because I just like, ah, NFT is an NFT. Huh? Yeah. It's just like some ownership thing, right? Mm-hmm. To a certain image. Then after he brought up the metaverse, he's like, yeah, can't wait to have the metaverse that I can display my NFT. Yeah, see, now it makes sense for you to invest in yeah. NFTs. Yeah, yeah right. bro. After he said that, right, I yeah. shook earth, bro. I'm like, fuck. Now so did, did you get any NFTs? No, I haven't. But I mean, I don't know, bro. 
it's kind of like I'm the boomer mm-hmm. that thought the internet was a fad. Mm-hmm. You know? But at the same time, I, I mean, I invest a bit. Like, it's just that I'm it's so hesitant to it. Yeah. yeah. But it, sounds like, it sounds like you're, you've invested in cryptocurrency. Lah. Crypto, yes. Yeah. But yeah. NFTs, no. I, yeah. see. I, still, I still don't I don't understand the shit. Like, I need to properly understand but that. But technically, yeah. we have a lot of NFTs, bro. All of our videos are NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> like, to me, like, for me, like, my, like how do you put value in, the, in an art? I don't like, know. Like, you see, like, fucking Gary Vee just draws a fucking flower. And it's like, yeah. how do you put a value in that? I art, have no idea. Right? So that's the thing I don't understand, which is why I don't right. dabble into that. I haven't dabbled into that yet. I also don't get it. I don't get it. Like, uh, MJ recently, he told me that he bought, like, a few anime NFTs. And oh, it's, like, okay. in those 8-bit type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yo, the shit is right. fucking expensive, man. Bro, it's like three k, you know, two k, you know. That there shit. was this one NFT, I think the ape one or some shit. That well, Harambe, yeah. some <laughs> Haram, some <laughs> shit. Bought, like bought, ape, bought ape club, is it? Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah. Like fucking like what, fifty? Fifty k, fifty k. No, it was, some of it went to like millions, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like the most expensive one, I can't remember the exact number, but I know it's like millions of dollars. I don't for fucking like some some ape picture. Right. Yeah, I don't get it. NFT is it? But it's NFT. it's oh, not NFT. it's not for the picture. You 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 buy it so that you have access to a community of like minded people who are as wealthy and you get connections. You have people. NFTs? I don't. I'm about to mean one. Is it? Um, yeah. I'm about to join the world through what open is it? Is that where uh, you get it? What's open sea? It's as far as I know. It's like 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 you know like crypto. You have like your Binance and yeah like yeah yeah. Like open sea is the place where you. Yes, these things. I think oh, okay. I'm not buying. I'm going to mint it. Oh, mint it! Yeah, I'm it? going to mint. So it when you say start. mint, you're making your own NFTs, right? Yeah. So basically, in this group, then once they open up the whitelist and everything, <coughs> then once it's ready to be minted, then you go mint. Mm-hmm. Then you, if you're lucky, you get the good shit, lah. You know, mint. like mining, lah. Ah, something like mining, lah. So you can mine up to three. Certain NFTs have their own regulation and stuff, okay. lah. You know, you have to adhere to it. Mm. Then you can mint it, and then it's just yours, lah. That's it. So minting is like you have to put like capital in. You it? have to pay some sort of amount of cash first. Yeah, mint is buying it first hand. Okay. At launch. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Buying yeah. it is typically second hand. Someone sold it to you. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, it's, a, it's still a very new world for me, la, But mm-hmm. I've seen people like one of my friends. He invested three k. Mm-hmm. He sold the shit after he mint for thirty k. Then I'm like, yes. Who is this time? What am I doing in my life? What am I yeah, doing in my life? Bro, same man. Just so quit my nine to five. I work a whole year for that, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking the extra initiative to actually uh, go and bro. do some minting shit, like you know. I don't uh, know. That's true, man. That's at the end of the day, I feel like. <clears throat> For me, at least, when I want to retire, I just want to retire just trading shit, NFTs, cryptos, and shit. Right. right? Will I, you ever retire, though? I mean, at one point, like, I'm not going to be like, yo, what's up, guys, until I'm fucking 60 years old. <laughs> right? You don't think you will? <laughs> no. 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 Maybe I can Entertaining people is damn tiring, man. Bro. Like, mm-hmm. Sorry, not to continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. 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 You don't think you're going to continue? Not until like when I'm 60s, 70s and shit, man. Even like, your vlogs? Mm-mm, no. Shit. Like I know, because I get bored very easily. Uh. Like when I'm bored doing that shit, I need to find some other shit to do. Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I will, will be in the entertainment industry. Probably I'll be managing or like, probably I have like a, like talents like under me. Agency. Like an agency. You know what I mean? In that sense. But I know for a fact I'm not going to be in front of the camera when I'm like 60, 70, 80. Wow. I don't know. Wait, I actually don't know. I have I, a lot of times in my life. I always feel like I think I should just stop it, lah. Stop. Stop doing what? Vlog, stop doing vlogs. Mm-hmm. You know, stop doing YouTube. Mm. Just live a normal life, lah. Mm-hmm. And then somehow, right, there's just going to be this comment or some guy that just DMs me on Instagram and be like, "Hey, bro, I love your shit." Yeah, mm-hmm. like I hope you continue doing what you do. Then uh, I just okay, lah. That's like a stop. reason you find for it, like. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Every time, every time I have that feeling, then someone sends me a message. Then I'm like, okay, lah, time to continue. Mm-hmm. But I feel it's so tiring, bro. I, I've done it for like five, six years. And it's like 3,000 subscribers. It does not equate to the effort, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you have any advice for people who have done, done it for so long? At least advice for me. La. What do you think I should do? I think you need to have like, 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 just like what you said just now earlier. Like vlogs work if you already have like your name there, right? Okay. So I think your content, you should put different kind of content. Like you said, for example, Casey and I said, right? Mm. He does his vlogs. And also every now and then he does the skateboarding through. That uh-uh. shit gets viral. and then Oh, it picks up something. It picks up something. You call it in, in, in the... YouTube world, you call it hero content. Oh, right? okay. Like every now and then you have like a hero content, probably like a rent, like some music video, for example, or like some uh, uh, a rent on a pop a topic that's trending. Right. Get it? So you're getting new random people to view your shit and then your, the views would spill over. Or to the others. Because yeah. so. oh, with just okay. vlogs alone, it's damn hard to grow, man. Unless you, obviously the vlogs is like, 
for example, you go for like a Nicki Minaj concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, like yeah. people something like, big. Yeah, something big. Like actually, that. that's kind of like the hero content also. Actually, yeah, that could be a he- uh, hero content. At yeah. the end of the day. So tough, bro. It's, I, tough, it's tough. Especially man. if you are like, you're so if like let's say today, right? Someone listens to this and goes like, I want to start a YouTube channel. Done. Bro, that guy is in it for a long yeah, yeah. It's time. not as easy. People think it's an easy thing. It's, it's really not. Which is why I think like for new content creators, the best platform to start is TikTok. Yeah, shorter. TikTok, the, the reason why is because TikTok's, al- TikTok's algorithm work in a way where like you post, you don't have to have followers. You can have zero followers and they still push your content to random people. Oh. Whereas like, see like YouTube, you know, like people on like, Let's say you have hundred subscribers, probably like twenty subscribers. Yeah. See, it's a shit algorithm, right? Yeah, bro. Which is why TikTok is the best place for businesses, for new content creators, for music. The re- that's the reason why TikTok is so big now, because the algorithm works in a way where it favors the creators. Yeah, man. Yeah. Have you heard of this uh, content creator called Doobie Doobab? Mm-mm. It's a Korean girl. Okay. And she she's does like hot. she's quite hot. Nice. Okay. Yeah. She does she, cook- cooking videos. Yeah, she does cooking videos. Oh. Yeah, bro. She. I think she's been doing it for like. I think less than a, maybe less than two years. Okay. Dude, she's so big right now. She just got verified on YouTube. What's big? <laughs> Not her tits lah, but. <laughs> but she started off on YouTube. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And then she just, um, she just migrated, migrated all the content on TikTok to YouTube to Shorts. YouTube, yeah, yeah. You do YouTube Shorts? No. I have no idea how the fuck to upload YouTube Shorts. Also, I, I, the reason why I don't do YouTube Shorts, it feels like some cheap ass production for your, <laughs> right? <laughs> don't you think so? Like, see, like you, you, you do all like nice quality content, and then you see like one fucking shot. I know, man. The black bar shit. The right? black bar makes it look damn ugly, and which is why I don't. And and like YouTube, I don't know how it works now, but like about like two weeks ago, uh, my one of my agencies sent me like this this news saying that YouTube is paying uh, content creators that push uh, YouTube, shorts. YouTube shorts. So they really invest to, to push. I see. Be- because like the direct competitor right now is TikTok and yeah. this is people like short kind of content. I don't know how it works in terms of you don't need to be a YouTube partner to be paid apparently for the shit. Oh. So I mean if I find the article I can just like forward, yeah, okay. forward to you. I, I, wait are you tied to an agency right now? Uh, yeah. Oh shit. I'm under, I'm under management right now. Are you allowed to say? Like which uh, agency? Yeah I can. Uh, uh, Galaxy Racer. That sounds like some car. It's, it's, a, it's a gaming. It's actually, a actually, you know what? Uh, cut that out. No, man. Can, cut, can I cut that out? Can, can, can. Oh, man. Oh, no, man. Fuck it. Then just. <laughs> 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 I have one last Why are you man. not allowed? Oh, Actually, no, I shouldn't. Because I already signed everything. So it shouldn't be a problem. Because we haven't made it official yet. Oh. On, 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 when? On, on when you all make it official? I, I only signed like last month. Because this video will be out like two weeks from now. Yeah, then probably two, three weeks. Because like by anytime soon, like they make the announcement. That sounds like a really big deal, right? What are you supposed it's to do with them? It's gaming. I it's just so saw it. it's it's a gaming content, uh, a gaming platform, but uh, they are big in the like, Philippines and, oh. and Saudi. Oh, okay. uh, on in Malaysia, only now they they they're coming, coming in, here. Yeah. So basically, I'm tied under them. They 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 manage my shit lah. So I bring in. We share percentage cuts. And oh. SEU. Yeah. Okay, last question. Mm-hmm. When you get that YouTube plank from 1 million subscriber, mm. what will you do? When I get that 1 million. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have the 10K one and the 100K uh, one? There's no 10K. It's only 100K. Oh, there's 100K. Yeah. yeah. I thought there was a 10K. There's like this small one. No, there's 100K. 1 there's million. 1 million. 10 million. 10 million. Yeah. And then the 50 million is beauty pilot, which is only, like... Only him. Only, only him, right? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. I don't, I 1 million. I, I don't know, man. I feel like it... it I don't think I'll ever reach to that level. You really don't think so? I, I, I think it's tough, man. Only now, I now you have that statement mean. recorded. Though. So, huh? when, it, so when, it, when it happens, <laughs> we can look when back When it happens, happens. I, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then again, like I said the same thing for 100k as well. And but you know, 117k? 123k. Oh. So. <laughs> 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 but it's a bit like, it's, it's tough. Lah. It's, I just got to, because there's so many different platforms, like, See, back then it was just YouTube, so all you focus only on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, now so it's Instagram, it's it's YouTube, yeah. it's yeah. Facebook and shit. Yeah. So heavy, bro. Yeah. Can lah, bro. You can do it lah, bro. Can, I mean, we all can do it, man. But you get your, when you got your 100k, did they, they mail it to you? Right? They mailed it to me. Shit. It's the, honestly, that was like the most rewarding thing. Until today, I still feel that YouTube has done for their creators. The proper, it feels, you, you, you proper feel like, ah, oh, shit, your, your effort is appreciated by right. YouTube. Wow. I don't think I have a hair, okay? Can't wait for your ICS to get it, man. <laughs> See, I always have the dream. 
You think you're John is always very negative. I'm a very, very positive man. <laughs> I'm a very negative person. Yeah, I'm a very positive in this shit, bro. Can, can, can yeah, test. yeah. <laughs> you get it, bro. You get that Maybe that's why my YouTube is so shit, bro. Because I'm so negative. I'm like, guys, this is gonna be fucking bullshit. It's so gonna get, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Today we got Wicca, bro. What's up, man? Come on, man. Hey. I think they gotta go already. They gotta go for dinner. <laughs> gotta wrap this up. Uh, any last pieces of advice for people who want to do content? I f- fuck it, just do it. Nice. Just do it. Yeah. Just, I, just do it. Like, yeah, I think a lot of people they overthink too much. Right? If you have like you recorded something, just fucking post it. Post it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But of course, please just you know watch out for regulations. Don't post regulations. Your, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't don't post your penis and shit. You know. <laughs> yeah. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? What did you post? <laughs> Duly noted. Okay. Uh, so nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but thanks for coming, bro. Thanks for having right. me. It was fun, bro. It was it was an honor, man. It's an honor, bro. Like to me, I feel like you you are the representative of our school, bro. I swear, oh, I swear. Hey, 100%, man. 100%. What nonsense, man. Yeah, bro. You know, it's it's hard to take comments because, like, positive comments because, like, you're not, we don't usually get positive comments. Like, you know, you don't get compliments a lot. But when you get, you're like, hey, no, la, no, la. You know yeah, 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 yeah. But actually, yeah. you just go, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Even you call me, I'm like, thanks, it's so, bro. It's so weird, yeah, right? It's so non Asian. Like yeah. Dunk Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, bro. Thanks for coming, All right. bro. All right. Thanks for having me. Oh. Oh, what a long How long was the whole thing? It's like one. Bye.